Hello? Hello, hello. Hello? You just... Dude, that's hello. My, favorite. Hello? my favorite way to express exasperation. Yeah. What? Just adding a nice long uh onto the end of like, you know. Oh my god, anyway. it's us. Oh my god. We're not doing anything. Uh. <laughs> uh, hey gamers, we're back. Oh Welcome to Dungeon Select. Holy fuck, it has been a rough summer. Too for, long. Uh, for, it uh, has. For our campaign. Bro. Holy fucking shit, it's dude. It's been a long <laughs> time. Since um, we sat on the roof and shut up. It's uh, it's good to be back. I uh, Pixie, thanks for being a fucking legend. By the way, uh, you already showered us with fucking love on our BG3 stream, and you're just continuing to streak now. So we appreciate you. Um, yeah, we're back. It's been a rough summer. This is like the first summer where we didn't do like a, like we weren't intending to do like an official break, and it was just a mess. People had shit to do all the time, myself included. Yeah. And, Eventually decided, Ill. and then when we wanted to come, we had to push back our comeback stream, like, like twice, twice two or yeah. three times because I was sick or people had shit to do or whatever. But we're here. Hey, y'all remember we us? Y'all remember this campaign, guys? Remember Dungeon Select? No. Average farm remember. We should have done a meme where we all should have like done things to look really different when we came yeah. back, so it looked like like ten years had passed. And, like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got my glasses on for once. Two. That's a rarity. No. Or uh, that way we are we are down with Soko and a Bell today. Soko is traveling currently, and uh, Bell uh, is is taking some uh, some 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 personal time off. Um, so uh, they'll be back whenever they get back. We uh, decided as a group that we wanted to get the ball rolling again. So here we are. Hello. And they were cool with it yeah. with us playing without them. That is a huge mm -hmm. bottle of beverage. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus. I love beverage. <laughs> I love well, because I don't know what it's drinking. Little. So. Oh, it's fucking. Let's go through it. Don't let's let's <laughs> all enjoy beverage. It's like going to <laughs> restaurant. Your to my favorite here. place. To eat. Restaurant. Like in, in Critical Role, when you go to that one place for a meal, just meal. That's what it's called. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the name of the item. Uh, <laughs> I need to make a cocktail now. That's just called Man, a beverage. But we're back. Before we get going, I hope you guys all had a phenomenal summer. I hope that whatever it is you've done. For the past month or so was great and um i'm excited to just get the ball rolling again weekly sessions because we have so much story left to tell bro it's insane i'm Hell excited yeah. to get back into the swing of things um if you guys anyone here before we get going have any announcements that you can share uh yeah i'll, I'll, I'll have this announcement next sunday like as crazy, well which is annoying as fuck that is annoying but just just in case, uh, get as much promotion and hype for it as possible. Also, because it's a interesting time slot, September 29th, which I do believe is a Saturday. No, it's a Friday. Um, I am kicking off a 48 hour uh, charity tabletop RPG marathon over on not on my channel, on the channel of another member of Team SideQuest, because it's uh, for in part with their campaign raising money for the Starlight Children's Foundation. Uh, it'll be on the channel of uh, SassyPants1996, be his username. And we'll have some Dungeon Select familiar faces as two of the players, uh, Ethan and Duke, uh, most likely, 90% sure, will be uh, joining us. And then we'll have some other familiar names in the chat, like Johnny Mist will be a player uh, from, you might know him from the Dungeon Select chat. And then a few others, a few other surprise guests. We're doing a one-shot, uh, a heist-themed one-shot set in the Feywild, where they will be trying to heist uh, a diamond, a very expensive, illustrious diamond from the host of a gala in the Feywild. So we'll see if they succeed. So it'll be at 8.30 a.m. my time. I'm getting up early. Uh, mm -hmm. so 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, which would be, I think, like 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon, UK time start. So yeah, I will be promoting the link for it. So just keep an eye on my like socials. I'll probably put it in the Dungeon Select Discord uh, closer to. But yeah, get excited. And I believe they don't have their characters 100% set on yet. So if you have suggestions, if you want to see maybe Ethan and Duke play something and they don't have it locked down yet, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Open to feedback. I'm uh, also DMing in that event. Yeah! Um, an Animal Crossing one-shot. My game will be uh, Saturday the 30th at 1.30 Pacific. Uh, what would that be? 4.30 Eastern. So, yeah, they're going to be um, looking for KK's guitar so that he can perform on their island for their first concert. 
That's fucking so. cool, dude. <laughs> that sounds sick. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Okay. And I, I think also I've been away from streams for a while because I was away working on a film festival, and I was hoping to have already come back to streaming, but just illness plus life happening. Mm -hmm. Uh, I should hopefully be back, uh, sometime in the next few days or so to personal streams. And our Netherdeep campaign should be back next Saturday as well. Yes. At noon, which is man, I feel so bad. Because <laughs> I feel like... I mean, but again, then, then the other week it man, wasn't. Like, it's just... Like, it's just, it's just, it's just so... Like, like, I did... Shit. <laughs> that and like I, I had to put like step out a couple sessions uh and i ended up making it so that someone else also had shit and then i, I got covid so i couldn't play the last time either i'm like ugh, dude sorry but now we're back happen. baby I apologize it's not D, D if you don't have scheduling issues let's that is be true. honest to be fair we have been blessed for the past like it was it was years. really karmically and time dungeon select had it happen to us because of how good we've been <laughs> want to roll into as my part of the announcements is Next week will be our anniversary. It will be. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. Our five year. It'd be f our fucking fifth Good year our anniversary. Five of this years bullshit. Anniversary doing this shit, bro. It was different people. So, then, yeah, we bro. started playing the twenty second or twenty third of September. Twenty third. Twenty eighteen. It'll be third because twenty second was my mother's birthday. Oh, there you go. Almost as long as and, James and I. Have been. Uh, so next next week will be our like <laughs> five year anniversary. We're just gonna play this campaign, but it'll be our five year anniversary. So that's kind of cool. Um, five years of, of doing this. Uh, we should all dress up or something. I don't know, bro. Just I'm gonna dress up as this guy. It's really it's cool guy. Hella it's hella short notice. RNG. It's, fucking... <laughs> it's far too short notice for me to get my shit together. It's fucking same bestie. Sheesh. Um, On guard. Imagine spending five years with Dutch. Couldn't be me. I mean, I've been spending twenty-eight <laughs> years with me, and um, old. Sorry. I'm not a big fan either, Ollie. So. Oh yeah. my goodness! Cut that out. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Um, oh my goodness. Be nice to my friend. Exactly. Oh my bad, guys. Don't dare. Sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah, but a uh, five-year anniversary next week, which is fucking crazy to think that we started this uh, kind of on a whim five years ago. And uh, decided to keep it going, and now we're in our set. We're like seventy plus sessions deep into our second oh. campaign, which is crazy. Um, but uh, I couldn't wish for a better group to do it with. So this has been oh. phenomenal. Fire, like, phenomenal. I could. Yes, yes, you could. <laughs> yes, you could. Well, could I definitely could. Could. <laughs> Best case scenario would be this group minus Ethan. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> well, we had that, that is that you with. asked me to stay. We started with it. Like, yeah, the only yes, you stay because I left. Just and so, like, yeah. you know, they needed someone to balance it out. <laughs> and now there's two assholes. Now, that's more than two oh. assholes here, mate. <laughs> okay, what now. Dutch means is he wait till Sober comes back. <laughs> what Dutch means is he could wish for a better party, but he ain't got any chance of getting them. We're the, like the, the <laughs> we're the best thing in the dollar store. It we would require a legit IRL wish spell, and those don't really come by very often. So, <laughs> yeah. Some and I level think spell. if I were to have an IRL wish spell, I wouldn't spend it on this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't fucking wish for anything. Wish for anything in the world. He goes, I want a bad DD group. Yeah, I feel like I would probably <laughs> wish for something else, guys. I, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but. That's uh, fair. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, because we're that great. You would never wish to replace. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. You're right. <laughs> In fact, some say that we are the result of a wish spell five years ago. You you oh. wished for the best D&D group, and this is what you got. Did sure. you say be careful what you wish for? It was a monkey's paw thing. Yeah. It's... Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. All right. <clears throat> you never um, specified as best far as <laughs> any more announcements. Uh... Man, I fell off the streaming train on my personal channel because of shit, but I do want to get back into that once I'm, like, I'm, I'm looking for a job. I've moved back in with my parents. My life's been a fucking mess, so I need to get my fucking shit together, and then I'll see about getting back into streaming and shit. The job and, uh, hunt. Have we actually nice. streamed since friend. we went on holiday? No. Was it that weekend that we... Well, we did. We did Baldur's Gate. Yeah. No, as in, like, like since we went to the no. Netherlands. Did yeah, we no, stream no. the yeah, first no, like, week back? We, we did Baldur's Gate. That's it. Yeah. God, it's been so long. We went to the Netherlands, guys. They did come to the Netherlands. It was great. Uh, I bullied Ethan about how the way he says car, and it was fucking funny. Cat. And I, co I yeah. cooked for everyone, and nobody did. Dude, we let him cook. We let him cook. Duke bullied everyone constantly. 
Not oh, especially me in the I car. I got absolutely razzmatazz off my fucking tits, <laughs> and it's it amazing. <laughs> Dude, when we had that, when we had space game, oh. we were just watching oh, a fucking fuck dumb. Dumb fucking yeah. sketch comedy show. Me and Duke, bro. We just had the fucking just look giggles. Each other. We were just looking at bro, each other. Oh, I miss it so much. It was <laughs> just such a, it was such a so surreal so experience. Uh, because I was on like a really monged, like calm high. Yeah. I'm just sat in the chair playing Mario Kart and I look that up. And these made idiots. You laugh more than anything has <laughs> ever so made good. me laugh in the entire Duke, world. Duke gives me this look of like, oh, holding him, pointing at Ethan. I just goes, fuck it. <laughs> Ethan got like super like, mellow and Ethan tired, like, and me and literally me and what Duke Ethan was were, like. Me, me and Duke were just laughing our ass off for two well, hours. Well, okay, okay. So, so fun, it all started with, and it's a shame Bell's not here. Yeah. <laughs> but I could see Bell like rounding the curve. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I could see, and 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 I was like, dude, everyone just fucking look at Bell right now. <laughs> and we all stared her down as she was just going into fucking hysterics. And then I look up. Amazing. And fucking Ethan sat there on his Switch, like fucking Tim Robinson in that bit where he's like, I could be on my phone the whole time. Like I look at Ethan and he's just, <laughs> yeah. and I could not breathe. I could Everyone not else breathe. Was dude. losing their shit. Everyone else was losing Ooh, their shit. That was so like, fucking like, funny, like, man. Gripping onto the armchair, giggling and wetting. And themselves. you're just. And I'm just there like. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think the funniest thing I've said. never seen him so at peace. It was <laughs> yeah. the funniest thing Koiba said thing. all week. What? Because I forgot a thing. But like, finish your story. Okay. But then I have one the more. The funniest thing Koiba said all week that week was like on the first night when that like dodgy dive bar and he just goes, "Oh, it's quite nice." I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. Yeah, but to be sure, fair, that's that. probably like. High etiquette. You get the shit holes yeah. I'm used to. Live. Um, my, my last announcement. I've acquired a thing. Mm -hmm. It is meant to be for the wedding, but I'm very, very excited about oh, it. God. And if if we ever have any, re if I have ever any really, really high stakes <laughs> roles for Dungeon Select between now and then, we have a very special D20. Oh, <laughs> then for the wedding. Yeah, it has our. I think I saw Why a video of James before you die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and it rolls. It like actually rolls. Properly. How heavy is it? It's like soft. It's not heavy. Have you at done all. the salt water test yet? <laughs> what? <laughs> Loser. Is it balanced? <laughs> yeah, is it balanced? Knows. But either way, I'm very excited. How much for you when you do roll it, Laura, to just punt it? Like, just fucking kick it. Just fucking I, I have to be kind with it until the wedding. I'm sure oh, at I'm, the wedding, it's going to get like, punted around like a oh, at the ball. I mean, I'm, sure, I'm going to be the but... first one to run. I'm like, hey guys, I got a big roll cut up. I'm just going to fucking drop kick the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have, is it, this is the, the wedding trick to make the bride and groom kiss none of this clink the glass bullshit. But I, I've been given permission to use it for dungeon select for things like death saves or something important very high roles. stakes. Like important roles. Okay. We got the big chunk. Okay, okay, I love okay. that so much. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> um, right. So for the sake of this uh, session, I wrote a bit of like a, a more in-depth recap because it's been a while. It's been a minute. Um, so we'll, we'll get into that and then we will. Yes! Bless oh you. my god! Bless you. Thanks. We'll uh, we'll get into the swing of things. Uh, where is my document? Let's have a look. All right. Um, yeah. So, this, uh, this party, which doesn't, still doesn't really have an official name, let's be real. It's, uh, the Ragtag Fuckwits. Has gone through uh, many Ragnarok. names, but uh, <laughs> Ragtag Fuckwits has stuck so far. Uh, they all met in Eldilon, capital city of the Empire on this new continent, Agrand, a continent previously veiled in mysterious mists and storms suddenly revealing itself to the world. The party we all now know got put together by fate and circumstance, thwarting a plot to assassinate the Empress Emissary. The party then dismantled the yuan -Ti uprising, made diplomatic ties with the remaining yuan -Ti that didn't want violence, and since then have dealt with various threats to the land, whether it was a uh, raged uh, dragon worshipper that led a group of arsonists, or uh, a mysterious made enemies with a, of a mysterious group called the Nightwebs, uh, and met some interesting friends along the way. Uh, for instance, a, a, a turtle pirate named Kai, or an air ganasi named Sai, which, funny enough, which does rhyme, and helping them in their, um, uh, in their own adventures, and uh, have dealt with numerous things since then. 
But their la their latest task all kind of kicked off after they visited Brooks's uh, hometown, Brooks's Brooks's father, uh, where they learned that Brooks's brother, um, who is who's always been ill pretty much since uh, since since childbirth and needed special care, got taken away uh, with the promise of help and apprenticeship and uh, potentially a cure to his ailment. Um, by a mysterious lord uh, called Strahd, Strahd von Zarevich, which the party knows is a vampire uh, and a quite powerful one at that. Since then, the uh, the party traveled to the Shadowfell, to a land called Barovia, ruled by this, this evil vampire, and um, trying are trying to rescue his brother. But it proves to be a perilous road. Barovia is a dangerous land, occupied by the undead, lycanthropes, hangs, and so much more. Nevertheless, they gather two artifacts out of the three they need to stand a chance against Strahd. The Sunblade being the first one, a holy blade wielded by St. Andril, as well as the Tome of Strahd that allows the party to witness Strahd's history as if they were really there, which might reveal weaknesses to them if they choose to use it. And the third artifact that they need is a holy amulet of Ravenkind, which is hidden deep in the crypts in the dungeon beneath Castle Ravenloft. The party was almost ready to head towards Castle Ravenloft to retrieve this final artifact and then take the fight to Strahd when the Burgomaster of Valaki got assassinated and they discovered the plot of the Wachter family trying to usurp his place as Burgomaster to have the final beacon of revolution against Strahd in Barovia fall. The party is now in the depths of the Wachter house to take the fight to Lady Wachter and her minions, their final hurdle before they can head towards the final destination of this part of the journey. The last we left off. You ventured through the Wachter house, found out that Lady Fiona Wachter is a pawn for Strahd and also leads a cult that she hosts meetings for in her basement. You met her daughter Stella, who went crazy and was convinced that she was the house cat and had been locked away in her room for a very long time. Eventually, you made your way down to the basement, fought a group of undead that emerged from the dirt, and now you stand in an empty room. What you do here is, or you see this this large wall uh, to, to your west, to the west side of the, of the room you're in. Um... And you see tracks in the dirt heading towards it, but no door. And you hear a faint chanting coming from the other side. That will be where we kick it off. What does the chanting sound like? Make a perception check. Oh. First roll back. First roll back. Don't fuck it Woo! up. Biggest okay. 12 of his life. Who's, who's if he not won, we just, we just turn the stream off. That's a Pachimari. That's not a dice. You might need something different. <laughs> um... Soko's not here, so I'll use Ethan's. I did his a 12. <laughs> for uh, a total of 19. I'm a psychic. You, you hear a kind of like a like a, a, um, a cacophony of voices. Four, five, six, maybe seven, you're not sure. That are all chanting, He is the ancient, he is the land. He is the ancient, he is the land. Just on repeat. Can... More energy, more passion. More foot. <laughs> Can uh, Aranya investigate the wall to look for like any kind of latches or loose stones or maybe Absolutely. a magical mechanism of some kind? Yeah, make a, make an investigation check. <laughs> oh, nope, <laughs> they see nothing. That is a five. <laughs> you kind of like look at the wall and kind of try to have a feel around it, uh, and as far as you're concerned, it is just a brick wall. <clears throat> um... What a shit roll. <laughs> hmm. Can I but... fiddle with the torches? Oh, your mic just went super quiet. You went real quiet. quiet. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're, you're so quiet, quiet all of a sudden. I know, because I opened the stream. Oh. How uh... dare you. Can I um, fiddle with the torches that are on that western wall? Sure. Because we're trying to get into this. We just don't know how to get into where the chanting is coming from mm -hmm. right now. Ah, oh, secret passage. Stuff. Can I? Can the ghost go through it? I can, <laughs> but well. I'd be visible, and then I can no longer possess Brooks for twenty-four hours. So, mm -hmm. That's I you, man. If you want to take that risk, you can. Uh, I'll, see, I'll give us time to figure it out first. Fiddling around with the torches. You're fiddling around with the torches. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, just fiddling with your torch in public like that. Make a slide of hand check. 
It's not that much public. Well, what happens next will shock you. <laughs> Man. Another 12. Um, what the hell? For a 15. <laughs> what the hell? hell? You kind of like feel around the torches um, and you notice that there are some buttons in the mm. feel and as you go to like push one the flame changes color and it goes from like a normal orangey red flame that's fun to a deep crimson red okay yeah, you got the rgb let's go so just uh, like so you said it, there's more than one button around each sconce yes does the button change the color like does each button change it to a different color? Uh, there's two buttons. There's the one that you initially found that you like tried and that made the flame like a crimson red color. If you try right. to like fiddle around again, it seems that the one button you push to make it crimson red gives it a variety, like goes flickers through several colors. Like it starts the crimson okay. red, then it becomes green, then it becomes purple. Oh, uh, and the right other button is just to it's reset like it back to the normal flame. Oh. <gasps> So... Maybe maybe you have to make the colors match up, and you hear Daigon's voice saying that, but Brooks's mouth is moving, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> well, okay, uh, does anything happen if they're both crimson red? Like, you just sync it up at the yes. same time. <laughs> Something does happen. Oh, oh fuck. No. We explode. Oh, no. Writing yeah. appears on the wall before you. Oh. Writing oh, that looks just as if, uh, just, just wet, fresh blood. And as the letters uh, appear, it kind of mm. keeps dripping down. Um, the Chamber of Secrets is open. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> right, sure. <laughs> um, and it says, to gain entry, one must first pledge fealty. Ew. And in the wall, <gasps> a couple of the bricks kind of like sink into the wall and make room for a small basin oh and a very sharp Fucking... like almost almost rusted oh. like blade right next to it Ew. right well this... if one of us fox is gonna get tetanus it should probably be me <laughs> hold on is this something aranya would have seen before with like strad shit or is this something else strad shit um Make a history check. Oh no! While you're, while you're thinking oh, about no. it, mm -hmm. I will. Not that smart, guys. I will pitch to the group. If we want to make that a last resort, I could always try just going through and seeing if there's a way I could open it from the other side because I have it's only a ten now, so I could interact with stuff on the other side. It's only a ten. Um, mm -hmm. You don't recall uh, this, okay. this to you. This just seems like. Uh, because this is not only Strahd related, but also Lady Fiona Vokter, who leads this like kind of like side cult under Strahd's wing. This just seems like some crazy cult shit, and like I guess a blood sacrifice is needed to gain entry into their most sacred chamber. It's, you don't yeah. you don't know the depth of the connection to Strahd or. or yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. Just in Brooks's head, rather than to the group this time, you just hear, "I don't like the idea of anyone here." pledging anything without knowing the depths of what they're agreeing to. I think this is a bad idea. Does can I have a look at the like mechanism on it and see does it seem like magical or does it seem like um me may... make an investigation check. Cacciano? Uh twenty-two. Twenty-two. Ooh. You have a look. And you, like, without touching it, you kind of just, like, yeah, yeah. like, like eyeball it. And it's definitely, it definitely got, like, mechanical parts. Like, um, the way it came out of the wall. And, like, there's a mm. me mechanism that would allow it to retract back into the wall. Mm. Um, and you do also see that there, like, at the bottom of the basin, there's, like, a small hole. Where, if you were to give blood... It seemingly seems like it seems like it will would run somewhere that might trigger something another mechanism like deeper in the wall hmm. <laughs> hold on um tell brooks to relay to the group <clears throat> if we want to i can try and go through the other side and possess one of the people on the other side and have them yeah. open it 
for us. Mm. If well, you know, you're not going by yourself. Side. That's my only worry is that if something goes wrong and you don't open it, we have no yeah. way of getting to you. And then we you're... we have no idea how. I mean, I can get. On the well, we have one way work. of getting to her. I can get back. I just. Well, not necessarily. Unless, unless something unless bad happens. Bad happens on the other <laughs> side. That's the main problem. I mean, okay. we could do. I mean, we could. We've already had you die once. Let's not. Well, do anything I'm offering it as a last resort if. Because I don't like the idea of anyone. It's not. It didn't just say like play a well, play. It didn't just say pay a price in blood. It said swear. I mean, fealty. So it's not just like bleed a bit and fill it. You're. We also don't something. really need to go. You know. Through it in conventional senses, and I will. What if we blow it up? Well, and I'll whip open my yeah. robe of useful patches. <laughs> You oh, have a door, God. don't you? you have I have two windows and a door. He does. <laughs> he does. So, I mean, we could just make our own door or window, depending on what you're feeling. But it's the true. second I put it down, they might... I mean, it's obvious. <laughs> it's I'll be it. honest. If the door opens anyway, it's still going to be obvious. So we might That's as well true. just fucking slap sure. the door on that bad boy and throw... Let me just double check if I can choose wind. if the door is already open. I don't think it says... <laughs> Ah, oh, it's gonna have to be a window. Why is it gonna have Why? to be a window? Because it's not an opening. Oh, the door can only go in an oh, normal right, opening. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. But I can place a window on any <laughs> vertical surface. <laughs> Interesting. So you, you place a window and I just punch it in and, you know. That's sort of the plan, yeah. So I will get out one of the patches <laughs> that looks like a window. Just open it? And then just sort of like stick it to where that door is. Okay. Like just fucking bam. <laughs> um, All right. Yeah, make sure to mark and that patch as used. Yeah, I will. Remove it Genius. Yeah, two feet by... Up, you walk yeah, two feet... I... It can be up to two feet deep. So, so unless this wall is bigger enough. than two feet thick, yeah. Um, I mean, the, the wall looks ten feet thick. Yeah, yeah that's just... That's just... No. Yeah, okay. It'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you, you place the window. Like, you put the patch on, on yep. the wall, and this just this, this, this large glass window appears. And as you do, you can see that, like, through the window, the, the sound also immediately becomes a lot more clear, because you know, glass lets through, like, a small glass window lets through, sound, let, lets sound through better Ooh. than like, a thick-ass wall. Windows? Um, it doesn't seem that they have noticed yet, because they <laughs> seem very occupied. As you look through the window, you can see uh, what seems to be a black pentagram painted on the floor. And at each point, a hooded figure stands, arms outstretched, uh, still continuously chanting. In the middle of the pentagram, you see an old man, chained to an altar, bruised, bleeding, oh. tortured within an inch of his life. You recognize this man. It's the coffin Deckard Kane! Oh. Oh. Uh, what you was can see man? at the northern side of the room... <laughs> Uh, you can see Lady Wachter, accompanied by her two son sons, and what seems to be a devilish creature kind of resting on her shoulder. Uh, but it doesn't seem that they've noticed, because they are quite occupied with what they are doing. I'm fucking sure about to, though. Maybe I don't bust the window. Maybe we don't have much choice how to open a window without smashing the fucking shit out of it. I don't know if the window... It. It's a window. Does doesn't it have it a just window? No, it's just... Mr. DM. No, it's just a window. It's the just window. a square Like, it doesn't have window. an opening, right? Like nope. It's, it's, no, it's just, just a window. Like a glass, glass pane, pane maybe. <laughs> I'm going to take my jacket off. Okay. And wrap it around my fist. Okay. Everyone fucking ready? I forgot to say it's reinforced bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> It'll okay. be fine. Is I, I will. Uh, I will. Uh, I will just check to make sure I've got, got some weird shit I can do before we go in. Yeah. No. Yeah. Everyone, everyone check if you've got shit you want to cast before I punch this window. Yeah. In. Let me. Let me see. Hold. Oh. F wait. Oh. Uh. Oh. Here we go. Um. No. Not okay, so no. Wait a minute. No. Brooks, if you want to even hmm. save your thing, and then I have it during the fight, I can also preemptively cast Bigby's hand to smash the window, and Ooh. then we, I also have it around as long as I can hold it. How far is Just the old man from the window? What was that? Sorry. How many feet? How many feet from the window is uh, the old I'll, man? I'll, in the this, I'll, I'll swap to like the the combat scene as well, so that the oh, yeah. chat can, can look as well. That. So look. We'll say that the window is right here. 
about nine tiles, so 45 feet. Okay. Um, all right. Well, as soon as the as soon as the windows busted open, mm -hmm. just not that it needs to be for Aranya to do this, but for the sake of everyone being engaged when they do it, um, they're gonna use Blessing of the Raven Queen to teleport as close as they can to there, okay. and try to get to the old man. Yeah, before. we'll say that um, once you enter. Uh, You'll surprise them, so I'll give you one round of like free movement, bonus action, action to kind of set yourselves up oh. or attack. Okay, yeah, then... so oh, no, that'll be that what Aranya tries to do before. The, the... So what I was gonna do is gonna do some prepare stuff of getting a surprise round away. I won't bother. I wait yeah. for the surprise round. So I'll <laughs> say that like so. <laughs> the moment you open the window, in whatever way you do, uh, we'll just go like in order of Discord to kind of set yourselves up in the room, do something for free, and then get into actual initiative. Yep, so okay, good. well, cool. if everyone's getting a surprise round, I'll fucking deck the window in. Cool. <laughs> Do I need to make a strength check? No. Or is it just a no, piece it's, of shit window? It's, it's, just it's a, a piece of shit window, man. It's just a window. You're fine. So you punch the window, glass shatters, like, ding, 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 and uh, the chanting immediately stops, and they kind of all turn to look what, the, what made the sound, and a couple of them kind of let out like a slight, <gasps> like a gasp, because they just did not expect... The intrusion um you surprise them so we'll go in order of the cameras that i have here so aranya what would you yeah so do? like i said I'll, I'll teleport as close as i can the full 30 feet that i have so you're at the window um, so say windows here 5 10 15 20 25 30 so uh, this is 30 feet from the window and then i'll walk the rest of course <laughs> yeah, um wait, 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 you try to free the old man from so you, you know yeah so you see that as you get to whatever the wall, i can assess is on, the thing you can see that all four of his limbs are chained up in like separate chains um so you can attempt to break free one of his limbs like his arm or like his arm his right arm in this case i guess are uh, there locks that i can attempt to pick you can certainly try what would that be like a dex it would be do you have these tools i should but i don't remember hold on hold on Yes, yes, I do. Uh, just uh, make a dexterity check and add your proficiency modifier. Please roll well. Ugh, 14. As you attempt to pick the lock on the shackle, your set of thieves tools immediately disintegrates. <gasps> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Uh oh. So that is your action. Good to know. Just a little bonus action and a little bit of movement if you want to do something. Uh, bonus action and movement were the teleport. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, the teleport's a bonus action. So. Okay. I'll and just uh, be yeah, there. That I'll I'll take a defensive stance, I guess you could say, and like be ready to try to protect up. him if I can't. <laughs> since I can't, you know, get him out. All right, Davian, what are you doing? Almost sneezing. Nice. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> How far is the closest one for me? Um, so that you, you know, you enter the room here. So, oh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. There's one like 30 feet here. It's... Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's, uh, who's, sorry, who's big bad up at the top of the steps? That would be Lady, lady, lady You see over here at the top of the steps, you see Lady Wachter, accompanied by this like mm. devilish imp. And mm. then her... But she was like, there's two people here. You've read and found hints that she has two sons, which you can safely assume is who these two people are. And that there seems to mm. fi be five cultists, one on each like point of the pentagram. And they I'm were the ones being just, like chanting with their arms out wide. Beeline to Lady Wachter, 30 feet. Okay. As I'm running, I so speak you'll, you'll the get to, command like, word. You'll get to like the bottom of the stairs. As I'm running, I speak the command word for the sun blade, okay. causing the golden blade to erupt from the hilt. Yeah. And I misty step right up to her ass. Hell yeah. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm gonna just. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm breaking. <laughs> Stop! Mm -hmm. The imp to the other side, because the imp is resting on her shoulder right now, so it's not actually. Sure, the yeah. So you misty step right. 
You're beside her. And I'm about to give her a sunblade. Okay. Right in the fucking mouth. Two, me... Both hands on it. Swap to fight music, first of all. Ooh. And then I need a quick second to set up. I don't know where my notebook is. I might need a quick to go grab that and then. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh shit, dice. Uh, actually, no, I'll just do it. I'm fucking bad or whatever. It's just annoying because it means I have another fucking window open, but here we are. Um, you can oh. wait for you to go grab your notebook. It's yeah, fine. Go grab, if you might go grab your notebook, bitch. Up. Okay, aggressive. <laughs> um, It'll give us time to plan. I got a plan. Don't you can die. Plan now. I'm just, I'm, I'll, be, I'll be here listening to it. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay, guys. So <laughs> here's what we do. Uh, we just run. We kill the Batman. No, we just, we just don't bother. <laughs> we go. You know what? I'm fully good. Just go. No, actually, I'm good. You know what? Actually, Devin and Aranya. Yeah. Didn't need him that much anyway. Yeah. You know what? I'd be good. Just turns out love Strad. I just remembered. God, <laughs> oh, just oh. <laughs> silly me. Just dawned on me. Love the big vampire guy. Love the man. Um, Love him. Actually, one of the struggles this whole time, guys. Just ooh. so I'm just gonna. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that last has been in with like shitty people in power. I don't know what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds. Can't wait to find Strahd. He's got a fucking spiderweb tattoo, and it's like, what the hell, man? What the hell? Man? Double whammy. Find Strahd. Get my big kiss. Yeah, get my little kiss. No surprise, Stroud is actually the head honcho of the Nightwebs. Stroud's just Run on his off. phone being like, I'm texting my mom real quick. <laughs> Stroud's, even worse, Stroud's employed by the Nightwebs. <laughs> hot water. She can't take a shower. Boom, boom, boom. I right, boom. Boom, all right, we're good. Yeah? Yes. So you activate the sunblade. Yeah. Roll uh, to hit. Uh, is she undead? No. Darn. Technically not. 27 to hit. Hits. Oh. I think what that might that? be overkill, mate. <laughs> Time will work. Um, she takes 11 points of radiant damage. Okay. Fuck her up. Spicy. All right. Um, oh, I have another attack. Yeah, you, yeah, do. you do. I can do that now. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> give us another one. Oh, another one. 13. 13 hit. misses, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Alrighty. Uh, Laszlo. Nice. Uh, I am going to cast Circle of Power. What's that do? Uh, so divine energy radiates from me. Um, distorts and diffuses magical energy within thirty feet. Um, that moves with me. Centered on me. And moves with me. Okay. Uh, any friendly creature in this area has advantage on saving throws against spells of magical effects. Ooh. If you were to save for the effect and you take half damage, you take no damage. Well, that's Ooh. spicy. I like that. Okay. That's cool as so, shit. Where do you want to move? So then I'll, I'll center it on you when you've done. Uh, uh, fucking. I will Wait, move. Was, was Can I move anywhere, by the way, uh, dude? Um, no, he's okay right there. Okay. Uh, I'll move like where Ono is and like down like three. Three like squares, basically like just in front of the door. Yeah, Where the actual door is down. Pretty much. Yeah, basically. Okay. Just so... sort of out of the way a little bit. Uh, you said thirty feet. Thirty feet doom. I assume it's gonna be. I assume that's thirty foot radius. Yeah, everything. Is. So that means. Yeah. Which is good because my other dome is also thirty feet radius. So this right, yeah. Yes. Sir. Cool. And then that is my turn. Okay. Um, well, Diagon is in inside of Brooks right now. I'll just mm -hmm. use. I'll just give the help action to Brooks. So whatever Brooks okay. is going to do with his surprise, I'll I'll narrate how I move. help with that on the time. <laughs> I'll move Jackson Kess in the room as well. But just once we get into the initiative, we'll just they can they can 
use their health actions to help mm -hmm. take of combat and all that shit. It's, it's a hassle. Yeah. Um. Okay, Brooks. So what do you what do you do? Uh, you boy hopping through that window. Mm-hmm. Uh, how are we doing movement? Like how how much? Because I punched the window out. You how start your movement? turn once you've climbed through. Like your surprise turn okay. starts once you've climbed through the window. So it starts now. Okay. Uh. Because obviously you have to punch the window out for the others to do their thing to yeah, get exactly. in there. So that all already happened. Mom and the two sons. Mm -hmm. Which one looks like the biggest, baddest motherfucker? <laughs> um, well. Mommy. All three of them look quite dangerous. Um, but like, like, which one's physically biggest? Uh, that would be <laughs> the left one, Nikolai. Because he... Physically you notice that he, he's building this big ass sword. Not wearing any armor, buff as fuck. So you recognize? Oh, no, he might be. He could I actually be a barbarian to some. Sprinting across the room at him. Okay. Uh, what's your uh, move speed? I'm gonna. Uh, Forty-five feet. 20, 25, 30, 30, 40, 45. We'll get you just a melee with him. Cool. Perfect. Uh, bonus. That's my uh, movement. Bonus okay. action. I'm a fucking rage. Okay. Uh, I'm just going in on it, like... And you'll get advantage from my help action, and it's just inside your body. I just use my ghostly power to try and just help your aim. Like, you strike truer, hit harder. I'm just adding my force to whatever you're doing, basically. So, advantage. On me. Uh, that's a 21. 21 hits. I should hope so. If he's got no armor on, uh, it might be for fastest. 13 points of bludgeoning damage. 13 points of bludgeoning damage, okay. Let me, uh, yeah, 13 points. Okay. I'm just double checking that things didn't, like, change. Um, Second attack, because mm -hmm. fuck this guy, I guess. Yeah. You only get advantage on the first one, right? If I use the help action for you? Yes. Or it doesn't apply to both, yeah. Their next attack. No, that's, sure. that's a bit naff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, bu 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 Sorry, I'm just checking things. It's been a long time since we played. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that is a 23. Hits. <coughs> Excuse me. I still have the COVID cough. Like, I'm not sick anymore, but I just, I'm still coughing. That's the lingers. wrong dice, so let's not do that. Uh, for another fucking 13 points of bludgeoning damage. And that is my turn. Good math. Boop, boop. Okay. Uh, with that said, let's get to roll some initiative, baby. Woo! Oh, yeah. oh, yep, that's my usual. Back, back, contract. To... Oh, oh my fucking god! Man, get that twenty. Okay. Nope. Oh, the other other end of the spectrum. Yep. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Same here. Hey, man. That's do not you know I, be good. Do you know what I love? I get advantage, you know, to my initiative, and uh, just roll two shitty low numbers. You know, the, nothing's changed in a month. Nope. Nothing. Nothing's changed. Oops. Oh, oh, I'm Carl. In. Because um, it's a uh, last level up thing that I feel like is important. Uh, all of my attacks now are considered, well, all of my melee attacks now are considered magical. Beautiful. Like my flurry of um, as well. Okay. Anyone 20 or up? 21. Thank God. I think I'll sum up all the <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. There. 15 to 20. Uh, 19. Wait, uh, let me roll for the two help action people as well. Mm -hmm. The two NPCs? Yeah, the two, the two fucking, yeah. PC NPCs? Uh, well, <laughs> dude. Uh, guess it's fine. Nice. Uh, it goes right here. I rolled a natural one for Jax, so it's just typical. You know what I mean? So yep. negative one for Jax then. <laughs> that's very, that's okay, so very nobody, like so cool roll. Me, 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 oh, you, me, 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 19. 19. That puts you. Me, 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 me. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There. 
Yeah, you'll need to put my mini somewhere on the map just to put it in initiative order, but... Oh, that's true. <laughs> Even though I'm not physically there um, yet. 10 to 15? Oh, no. <laughs> 5 to 10? Oh, dang. Eight. I, got I got 5. I got 9, but it was a natural 1. Oh. Right down there with Jax. Plus 8 to initiative twinsies. Wait, Laura, were you also a natural one? I was a natural two for a total oh, okay. five. Okay. All right, then this will be the turn order, I think. <laughs> that was a three and a four. <sighs> Love it. What's okay. the point in having plus eight to your initiative if you're just going to roll a natural one? I'm trying no, to like, scroll in without the fucking room disappearing. Yeah. There we go. It's a little better. How's it look on stream? I need, a... I need more screens, guys. That's good. Okay. Fights for the um, it is Lady Walker's turn because I rolled a natural twenty. Her. Jesus Christ! That bitch. And Naturally. she'll oh. rigged. Just kind of <laughs> surprised, looking at you, Davian, looking at the blade. Mm. Mm. She just kind of goes. I knew letting you keep nosing around Vlaki was a mistake. Doesn't matter. Once we deal with you, Vlaki will fall. Strahd will claim this land too. We'll make sure to keep that sword safekeeping and since you're right there mm, it's me uh she is going to um you notice that she's wearing she's wielding this like like ruby like a rod it's not quite a staff it's a bit like it's a bit a bit shorter than a staff and um she's going to just try and bash you with it twice First one is a natural 19, so I'm assuming mm -hmm. that will hit okay. yeah. Plus, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. with a plus mm -hmm. 8 to hit. So. Second no. one is a 17 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Oh, oh dear. So from those attacks, you take 18, uh, 21 points of budging damage. Ow. Can I hellish Ow. rebuke? You can, but give me two seconds. Uh, because okay. you were hit by both attacks of the rod, I need you to make a charisma saving throw. Uh-oh. Man, I should have probably moved up to him, huh? <laughs> Man, you kind of hate to see it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a six. Uh-oh. It's a six? Yeah. You suddenly feel this intense mm -mm. burning in your face. Mm. Anyone around you that's looking at you can see that, like, Strahd's raven emblem has been burnt into your into your oh. cheek cool. you now carry the mark of strand and what that cool. does no. is we'll reveal that as we get to it oh, that sounds oh, real bad shit. i don't like can it. i hellish rebuke now <clears throat> yes you can <laughs> <laughs> okay uh she needs to make a dex save yeah it's a natural six so that's not gonna not gonna cut it I point my finger, and she's surrounded by hellish flames. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Four. Fifteen points of fire damage. Fifteen points of fire damage. Okay. Uh, uh, All right, yeah, so you, like, you, you feel this, like, intense burning in your face. You don't know what it looks like, but the rest of the group can see that there's just this, like, raven emblem kind of like singed into his cheek. Uh, but you bite through the pain and just kind of point your finger and this is like whirlwind of flames just begin soaring around uh, Lady Wachter. Uh, and as the flames subside, you can see her kind of like patting off some of her clothing, extinguishing the flames, and you can see some like singe markings on her face. There's like a, a, a distant laugh. It sounds sort of like a certain fiery lord as I fucking smite her right back with the power <laughs> of my fucking patron. Uh, and that is her turn. Her imp minion is going to fly like over um, over Brooks towards Aranya, seeing that seeing Aranya trying to fuck with the prisoner uh, they have. It's gonna land 
And it is going to uh, make two claw attacks at you. First one is a 21 to hit. Hold on, hold on. Holding. Um, shield, bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a plus five to your AC, wow. right? Yep. Which brings it to 21. That's oh, wait, still... no, meets it, beats it, huh? Yeah, that's the yeah. Dang it. Never mind. No shield. I'll take it. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I was like, sweet. And then, oh. <laughs> uh, second one is only a 10 to hit, though. That misses. <laughs> so you take from that one claw. Like, one of the claws just, like, kind of swipes overhead. And the second one, it just kind of, like, claws the side of your face with this, like, long, sharp, like, kind of, like, jagged fingers that it has. And you mm -hmm. take... Uh, that sounds icky. Nine points of slashing damage, as well as five points of fire damage. Okay, then I will absorb elements and take some of that fire, please. Okay. Um, nine points slashing, and how many did you say of... Uh... Five. Five, so actually then two. Because I get resistance okay. when I use absorb elements. Yeah, well, I dropped the bottle cap. Okie yeah. dokie. Alrighty. And that will be its turn. It is now your turn, Aranyas. What is it? Revenge. Um, question about quick and spell. Mm -hmm. Uh, it can't. It has to be like a spell that takes a slot, right? It can't be like a cantrip and a cantrip. I believe. Or does it matter? Uh, it doesn't specify. I think it's just if a spell or a cantrip that has a cast time of an action, it now only t takes a bonus action to cast. I think a that's bonus what that action. Is. Okay, so then I'm going to quicken spell. Right. Um, going to do infestation on Lady. Okay. Is that a... So she has to make a con save. One second. Ooh, uh, um, what's his number? That's a 13 plus a 15 total. Dang it, she makes it. Okay. Oh, actually, no, 14. Um, I lied. 14. Ooh, yay, she doesn't make it. Looking at the wrong So stats. then. Nice. She takes nine points of poison damage and she moves five feet uh, north. Uh, <laughs> Whichever way that well, is. If she can. Uh, the, the only okay, way then she her stays to move there. is like. Yeah, she doesn't what? move then. Because um, okay. you roll a d4 to see which way they move, and if mm. they can't move that way, they just don't move. Um, but she does take nine points of poison damage, and okay. then I will shocking grasp the um, butthead. Yeah, shocking imp. grasp is a capture grant, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you're good to go then. Uh, 15 for that? 15 to hit the imp? Yeah. Uh, just hits? Nice. Okay. And that's six lightning damage. Six lightning damage, alrighty. And that's it. Okay. Brooks. Okay. Hello. <laughs> you keep moving things like a numpty. Yeah, because I clicked your eye. Oh, well, that was silly. Mm -hmm. What? What would you like to do? I'm gonna. Move five feet north, like closer to the stairs. Like here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then because I'm a dickhead, mm -hmm. without <laughs> leaving this guy's melee, I'm going to turn around to the other brother. And is he facing me or is he facing the other way? He is currently just kind of like looking around, keeping an eye on everything. I'm going to throw two daggers at his throat. Uh, that is a 24 and a 23. 24 and a 23? Yeah, both will hit. Or if you're barking, uh, the dogs are going sicko mode right now. Sicko. 17 points of magic piercing damage. 17 points of magic piercing. Okay. Uh, 
And then I'm going to bonus action without even looking behind me, uh, fucking elbow the other dude in the nose. Okay. Uh, for a fucking 26 to hit. Also hits. Uh, and this one does get rage damage, so 10, 12 points of bludgeoning. Alrighty. Um, so you chuck two daggers like behind you, and as a response, they just kind of like plant themselves one in his like shoulder and one like in his lower 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 area of his stomach, and he just immediately turns to face you and just kind of like points his blade at you, and you, he's getting ready to like storm at you. Oh, uh, that's that you, my turn. That elbow in the face. He just kind of like. As you lower your elbow again, just he has his like shit-eating grin as if there's like blood <laughs> dripping down from his nose, and just this wicked, wide grin revealing these like yellowed teeth, just staring Ew. you down. Ick. Cool. Uh, bum, I end my turn. Bum, 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 Those bum. daggers immediately teleport back to my belt mm -hmm. because I'm fucking cool like that. Sure. <laughs> I am. Uh, it is now Nikolai's turn. Yeah. Bonus action to rage. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's and gonna surrender. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Angrily. Yeah, sure, man. I surrender. Uh, and he's going to. I said he was using a sword. I'm wrong. He's he's wielding a great axe. Oh. Just myself. The measure right. What makes it great? Its size. Um. How will you use it? Hmm. He raged. Ba -ba -bum. Yeah, I'm gonna just swing at you twice with this uh, great axe. Uh, Pretty boggers. Bit, bit, uh, quick math. Uh, 21 to hit. Yeah. Even higher. 24. Cool. Oh. Okay. Dude, you don't get to roll many d12s in this game. But whenever someone <laughs> uses a great axe, like, oh, cool. Yeah, those dice. Watch him roll double ones. <laughs> Roll one one. Thank God for that. Uh, but I'm oh, pretty more sure... than one d12. What the? Well, oh, he attacked wow. twice. Oh, true. Ha, lol. Um, but because he has that fucking feat that I can't think of right now, uh, he gets to re-roll ones in his fucking damage oh, dice. Oh, savage attacker. That's the one. Um, so that's an eight now. So eight plus six, so fourteen. Plus 5 is 19, plus 6 is 25. Cool. Halved. Uh, oh, I'm lying, because cool. I need to add rage damage, so another 4 is so 29. Halved to 14 is your raging. Cool. Let's shrug it off. Like, barbarian on barbarian. 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 Yeah? Barbarian on barbarian fights take so fucking long, but they're so cool. Yeah, sure. To the mm, fucking swooping and ruining a man. Mm -hmm. Going at each other um, for hours. Topless. It is now oil. Kessa's turn. No armor. Um, Not all barbarians are men. But Ooh. in the circumstances, they are. But that's what I'm looking at right here. Kess, since Kessa's here, Kessa's gonna give a Lazarin the help action. Oh, yeah, hate to see that. That's gonna be a waste. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> I mean, Hold. yeah, I'm gonna get advantage on. Yeah, I, not anything I'm gonna be using. Where's Jack? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> Next to Kess. Ew, help circle. They just sort of fucking help each other. Right. Ooh. I'll help you to help um, me. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, there's things I could use a help action for. But I don't know how, like, we'd flavor But you're not there. I'm in, I'm, like, in Brooks right now, so. Whoa. Ha, ha, ha. You have to be in melee with somebody to help them. Uh, I think so, because I think, like, I think bards so. get it. I think there's a bard subclass that literally gives you the you aid help action. To another creature in the completion of a task. You take the help action to creature you aid, gain advantage on the next ability check it performs. Alternatively, you, alternatively, you can aid a friendly creature in attacking a creature within five feet of you. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Kess... I'll walk up to Aranya. Give Aranya. So your next attack will have advantage. What will hold me? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's now Carl's turn. I clicked the fucking portrait again, so... There we go. And Carl is just gonna... 
close the gap with rooks. And uh, I did. I have like five different like sheets open right now with different stats for all these motherfuckers. <laughs> this is a rough, a rough one to get back into after not DMing Dungeons like for a while. Um, hello, Carl. Carl is gonna swing at Brooks twice oh. with his great sword. It was Carl that had a great sword, not the other guy. What makes it great? <sighs> can we fight by the fucking stab you with just it? Kick you him, stupid like... <laughs> 22 to hit. Uh, yeah. 13 to hit. How much, sir? 13. Okay. Uh, do resolve the first one because then I've got shit I want to do on the second. Okay. Uh, 5 plus 4 is 9. 19 points of slashing damage, so 9. After having. Cool. Um, I'm going to spend a key point to use my new monk ability, Ooh. Tipsy Sway. Uh, when a creature misses you with a melee attack roll, you can spend one key point as a reaction to cause that attacker to hit one creature of your choice other than the attacker within 5 feet of me. You're going to make him attack his brother? He's gonna <laughs> lunge at me with this fucking great sword, and I'm just and gonna duck just, out the way. And it just amazing. Okay. I love it. So yeah, that will that will, that automatically hits, right? Because you make yep. it so. Like he he hits him. Even if he had an AC of a billion, it auto hits. I <laughs> rolled max damage. Um, That's six, oh. fucking crazy. Yo, six, hear your brother well, who's raging. It'll be funny. Seventeen, but he is raging, Lucky. so that makes it eight points of slash. My brother damage. really is like, what the hell? What the hell? Oh, I can't make. You can't wait to have them uh -huh. fight each other. Yeah, yeah. so... Um, you kind of like in a very drunken like sway, just kind of step sidestep, and the, the great sword just lunges past you and just jams into his other his brother's like fucking thigh, and you see him just uh, looking at him and just like looking at you, looking at him, just like fucking angry. Pissed. He's pissed. This is the most chaotic monk feature, and I love it. <laughs> it's dope. All right. Uh, it is now this cultist's turn. Uh, they haven't had a turn yet, so I don't know what the fuck they can do. Um... Yeah, why not, right? Fuck it. It's uh... gonna... 10. I mean, Brooks is the only person in range. No, I was going to walk up to Brooks and cast Inflict Wounds. Pretty pog. Uh, for a natural 18 plus. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Okay. Uh, it is just like, it's, it's, 17, it is at so. first, first level, so... Uh, it's fine. Big wounds. 3d10 necrotic damage. Did I give Elazarin my talisman? I give him back. Okay. Um, uh, Ethan, what's Brooks's AC again, by the way? We did think about it. 17? You take okay. 13 points in necrotic damage. Uh, and that, is that means total? I take. Total, yeah. Okay, well, that's half, half that. first. Oh, uh, so it's six then. Six necrotic. Yeah. So do I take half of that, or do I take half of the original amount? Half of the damage mm -hmm. he takes, right? Yeah. yeah. So three. Like effective damage three that he takes okay. is, is that. Okay. Because the fucking totem bar, baby. Wait. Oh. Ouch. This cultist Rude. is going to... Mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. Why are you backing away? Uh, and is going to... Uh, 55 feet, so you are within range. Uh-oh. He's going to cast... Oh, actually, no. It needs to... It needs to... No, no, he's good. He's good, he's good, he's good. Never mind. Dude, I am all over the place. Um... <clears throat> range. Yeah, no, 60 feet. Good, we're good, we're good. 
I need you, Koibi. Mm -hmm. That's me. To make a dexterity saving throw. Well, that's with advantage. True. Because of my circle of power. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, I hate my life. Why am I cursed in this way, bro? It oh, I'm not lying. It sucks. It's, a, it's a con save, not a dex save. Oh, that makes a difference to the two shitty low numbers I rolled <laughs> with advantage. Okay. A con save? Yes. Yeah, it's, a, it's a six. I rolled a two and a four. Mm. I rolled uh, a five. I rolled four dice. You can see that this is like pure disease. Leaves this cultist's hand and just flies in your direction. Um, and it just hits you. And you can see all your veins and your arms beginning to like blacken. Your skin begins to just like dry out, and and it, you be you become pale at the impact of this spell. Uh, you yeah. take a lot of d6 worth of damage. Oh, mm, how about I don't do that? Just cast uh, no. I'm just making sure I'm. <laughs> Maybe there's not some other weird shit I can do with this. No is the answer. Just cast Uno Reverse. Yep, I'll pull out. A deck of many Unos. Take 38 <laughs> points of... Uh, oh, fucking hell! Damage. 38? <laughs> Shrug it off, my boy. Holy Shrug shit. it off. Well, time to make a concentration check. Yeah. Oh, yeah. DC, DC 19. 19. Fuck. 19. But let you me get... just dub. Let me just check out and get some more shit. For Do this. you get the advantage still from the thing? Because I know you're checking for oh, that no. spell. No. It's not a spell check. No. Okay. I'm just making sure I didn't. Did I take anything? That make... Nope, didn't. Cool. This is just a con check, right? It's, con a, con yeah. it's a, yeah. uh, a constitution save. I need to roll a 17 or higher. You got oh, shit. Or, or I've just wasted my one fi fifth level spell slot. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what is going on? Oh no. Oh no. It's a seven? A seven? Yep. Keep Ow. the dome up because I'm going to be putting the dome back. Okay. For a different, <laughs> dome. Yeah. different dome though. So your spell, hey guys, my, you drop my big fifth level spell. Gone. Gone. Oh Red. no. That is your turn now. So what, ray of sickness? What was that? Uh, harm. Fucking blight. Bro. Oh, harm. Oh. harm. That makes a lot of sense. The opposite of the 6th level heal. Yeah, Blight's a touch spell. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. sorry. Uh, Whoa. Blight's a 30 Whoa. feet range, actually. Oh, oh is it? Yeah. So you look fucking stupid. Oh, I can <laughs> inflict wounds. No. Inflict wounds is touch. I will, uh, uh, I will, as an action, mm -hmm. summon my special dome. <laughs> right? Oh, okay. Let me just change the <laughs> color you feel... so the, pe the people at home know this is a different dome now. Yeah. Oh, look at yellow! It's the Twilight oh. Dome! No Who does sense, not though, love like... getting a Lazarus dome? Uh, exactly. There we go. <laughs> Uh, and then, what the fuck are we gonna do here now? <laughs> fly to me, fly. I will, I will, mm -hmm. as a bonus action, uh, pass spiritual weapon at f using a fourth level spell slot. Okay. And put it next to the f the fucker who cast harm on me is fucking getting it. <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> getting, he's getting, oh, he's getting fucking battered. Oh, he's mad. He's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, roll your attack with a uh, spiritual weapon. Oh, 19. Yeah, hits. He now takes 2d8 damage. He now takes 2d8 damage. Yep. Sorry. I did some of that though, so it's fine. He did. <laughs> takes enough. 14 points of force damage. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough, mate. 14 points then, of force damage. So you... What, yeah. The spiritual weapon is it still like the nunchucks? Like the golden Yeah, of nunchucks? course. Yeah. They appear and they just... Fucking clobbering. Fucking clobber Clobbering. this cultist. Like <laughs> you can hear like a slight crack kind of echo through this like large empty chamber. This, as you, I'm pretty sure you and Hinge's jaw. And then I will move up as much as I can. If I can get Davian into the dome with 30 feet of movement, I will. But I'll try and get as close as I can to getting Davian and uh, into the dome. I... As many yeah. people as I can. Fucking. Put, well, that's perfect. And I will end my turn and I will get some temporary HP. I will take that. I will get 14 temp HP. Oh, okay. Uh, Daigon, who is currently occupying Brooks. 
Yes, um, seeing a Lazarin have that, like, withering, paling, like, that didn't look very good, I will go ahead and use one of my sympathetic mending, and Brooks's arm will just really quick, after he's doing his, like, throw, punch, things, again, mm -hmm. almost in the same drunken style of his normal movements, but Brooks will know he's not doing it, his one arm will just kind of, like, uh, point towards uh, a Lazarin quickly, and that, like, um, blue white silver weird energy that is my color scheme when i am not possessing someone will leap from brooks to a lazarin and you heal for please that's that's not great um 11 hit points and, that's better than, that's better. and brooks also gain a heals for four of those hit points since i am possessing him while i do it oh my god nice so you feel a quick a little mini <clears throat> surge of good good heals good energy okay. um that's one of those down good i vibes. believe that's my action yes it is but i have no bonus actions that i really can do when i'm already possessing someone so that me all right uh this cultist is going to walk up to a lantern as he just kind of approached and is going to cast inflict wounds as you know. These motherfuckers. Well, good uh, thing I tried to help you. <laughs> natural 20, probably. Oh, no! It's oh, it's natural 20, that's, is it? That's the Man. Roman numeral wait, X. Wait, wait, oh, we can't just help action. I was going to say, Jax is at Silvery Barbs, but he fucking nope. can't. Nope. 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 Yeah, no, I, made, I made a choice for this session. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you made a choice to fuck It up. does make things faster than having <laughs> yeah, exactly. someone who's unfamiliar with the yeah, character. Uh, is there anything I can do just to make this not hurt my feelings? <laughs> nope. Cool. Bye, guys. Well, I gave you some heals before it happened. So. Yeah, I felt like I'm a butter. Mm, I don't have a lot. And of you have your left. you have your temp you have your temp hit points on top of the heals you just got. So, uh, well, you know, maybe it's just a fast level of flick wounds. Yeah, it's still three d ten, and because of the way we do crits, it's gonna fucking hurt. Oh, it's gonna be thirty plus three d ten. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. 33, 36, 30, nope, 41 points of necrotic damage. Owie. Are you good? There's no way he's good. <gasps> As this cultist just puts his hand and it kind of like grabs you by the neck. Do you know how many hit points I had left, Dutch? No, go on. 40. 41. 41. <laughs> <laughs> As he's like, this, this cultist just kind of like grabs you by the neck and you can see just like his entire hand begins to turn black and that energy moves from his hand into your throat mm. and he kind of like lifts you up Gross. and lets it spread throughout your entire body well and then just drops you <laughs> well here's the so... cool thing the dome's gone mm. so yeah. no dome. incapacitated so no dome oh no wait dome. wait hold on before the dome dropped was is was brook slash me in it at the end of my last turn when i healed a lazarin uh yeah, oh. you would have been. Yeah, Do I get temp? Get, I get some temp HP before you it goes get out. Twelve temp HP. Thank you. Let me just double check on other spells like the spiritual weapon go when I'm. I don't down. think so. it, it does. It just stays. stays. There, so do I. But I'll check yeah, it just in case. Spiritual weapon isn't concentration. I yeah, know. Right. I know. But also like fucking incapacitated and dying. It's like, oh, yeah, you cast yeah, a spell, yeah. dickhead. It's like, oh, okay. No, we're good. <laughs> it stays fucking forever. Cool. <laughs> well, until. The time's up. Great, I am un unconscious. Uh oh. It I'm took gonna, less than one that. round of combat. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be back, boys. I'm gonna watch the fucking rugby. So you guys have fun. Oh, you stay here. Next time, we get plans. yourself a character that can handle the neutron style. <laughs> I have a 20 AC, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but then crits happen, and you know. see you later, loser. Um, <laughs> This cultist is going to move up. Uh, be in, he wasn't in the tile, so this is the tile. It begins in 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Right here. And is going to cast Blight at Davian. Uh, so I need Davian to make a... Uh, a constitution saving throw. Uh, natural one. My god, guys. Oh, no. Fucking hell. 
We're going to come back from a break with a TPK. New campaign. No, no, no. Let's go. <laughs> it's not a TPK if Brooke survives to run away. Well, so mm. technically we can't TPK anyway because we're not just going to kill uh, Soko and Belle's characters without them. Mm. I mean, well, if we all die, the fight is over. Well, though, they could escape to live another day and revenge us all. They'll you somehow revenge us. You take 28 points of across the and then campaign three becomes their uh, vengeance arc with new friends that the new right. new part, new mercenaries they pick up to avenge. Uh, <laughs> this guy's gonna go bully jacks. Of course. He uh, cast inflict wounds at jacks. Hi jacks. Sheep. I mean jacks has a high AC. Yeah, he does. Ah, uh, this is not gonna hit. This is a natural. Uh, actual four, so that's not going to hit, so that's fine. His AC is like 21. Yeah, his AC, AC is nuts. Davian! Get up! Mm. <laughs> um... <laughs> um... I'm going to, uh... I'm going to drink a greater potion of healing real quick. <laughs> Because I am not looking too good. Mm -hmm. 4d4 plus 4. Oh, great. No, I was going to heal you before Lazarin took so much damage that I changed. <laughs> so I just healed 11. Okay. Not so great about that. And I guess I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fucking attack her twice, I guess. Yeah, go for it. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, where are my D20s today? Jax is an AC uh, 22. Checked. 25 oh, to hit. Hits. And 13 to hit. Okay. 13 misses. Yeah. Uh, she takes... 15... Oh. No. 17 points of radiant damage. And 17. she's not undead, right? She's not. Unfortunately. I'm sure she's not undead. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, can I, can I, can I, uh... Can I actually do two things with that attack? I don't know. Depends. Can I pump in an elemental, imbue elemental power, and can I also favored foe? If they're both free actions, yeah. I mean, they're both. They both just like on a successful minute, attack, you, just, yeah, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, so I guess with the imbue elemental power, the there are three guys within ten feet, right? Hmm. Of her, um, five feet. Yeah, yeah. You, you can get both of her sons. That as well. Uh, okay, they Go both need the to make a, a dex line. saving throw. Dex save. Ugh. At both rolled sub tens. Well, that's okay, because they all take one point of fire damage. <laughs> Did I do it, Lady yep. Hey, it's still something. And she takes. An, an additional four points of damage as well with the favorite four. Additional four. Go. Okie dokie. Is that your turn? Yes. Jax is going to get attack of opportunity. Walk uh -oh. to the last low. That's going to miss. Like, they need to roll extremely high to hit Jax. And I'm going to make the edge, like, the. <laughs> Executive decision. He's going to use a potion of healing and shove it down Lazarus' throat. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's still technically. Well, no, helping, no right? one else was gonna. So that's still technically helping, right? So. Yeah, it's a yeah, help. Yeah, it's a pretty helpful uh, action. You heal for nine. So it's three like bobs have been though. Nine yeah. hit points. Yeah, two bobs have been fucking a lot better. I'll be honest. That's fucking We're lovely. not coming back for you guys to just bitch right away, I right, guess. I uh, literally we are. <laughs> I've got like months of bitching to like. Yeah, so. well, I changed the rules mid game and now Call we're losing. Your mom to be a chat, all right? Maybe I will. Actually, yeah. on my advice, this is go chat right now. <laughs> oh, must be nice. Wait, mom, 
Download Discord. <laughs> Discord. <laughs> <laughs> but you for nine. Oh, I, I'm, I'm up. I'm alive. Mm -hmm. Makes it Lady Wachter's turn. That that bitch. Bitch. <laughs> and she. <clears throat> Is going to point her fingy <laughs> what is not me um <laughs> see a five foot line ah it's not worth it never mind She's just going to clobber Davian twice with her uh, rod. And because you are marked, she now has advantage on the text. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Clobber me with your rod. Uh, <laughs> uh, rod first one is a 14 to hit with advantage. Doesn't Ooh. hit. Second one is a ooh, 19 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Damage down late again. Oh, D8. Oh, wow. Uh, you take five points of bludgeon Why? damage. Okay. But, I'm going to roll a concentration. Nope. Uh, because your seal, your seal, like this, the, the, the mark is on you. Uh, yeah. She deals an additional 2d6 fire damage as well. Aww. This. Do I have resistance to fire damage yet for being cool? I don't think I do. No, check no. Sheet. For being cool. For just being that guy, you know. <laughs> Probably like level 10 or some shit. Let's be um, no, it's gonna be deep into it. I'm only like second level warlock or something. So for an additional nine points of fire damage as well. So five is nine, 14 points of damage total. Okay, two things. Mm -hmm. I need to roll a concentration check for favorite foe. Yes. T10. Which is a fail. So, uh -oh. goes away. Oh no. Um, Second of all, mm -hmm. Fires of Hell rebuke thee. Okay. As I also point a finger. Oh wait, no, she didn't even she point did. the finger. Yeah. But I will point a finger. Mm -hmm. And uh, the flames sprout from my <coughs> fire, from mine eyes. And you need to make a fucking deck save. Yeah, natural two is not going to cut it, is it? No. <laughs> okay. Fucking 15 points of fire damage, Ooh. bitch. Up yours. That's huge. That is huge. She's not looking too good. Dude, we are fucking battling it out up there like Duel of the Fates. <laughs> yeah, you are. She's hitting me with a rod. I'm hitting her with a fucking sun sword on fire and shit. All right, and that is her turn. So it is now the imp's turn. <laughs> the imp is going to attack Aranya again, twice. This motherfucker. Mm -hmm. uh, one is a 16 to hit, and one is a 17 to hit. They got me. All of them? Yeah. No. Oh. Well, you can shield now, can you? you yeah, but yeah. I'd rather absorb elements at a higher level. Mm. Uh, claw attacks. Uh, 10, 15, 19 points of slashing damage. Oh, aye, aye, aye. As well as the, what's that? Two, so five points of fire damage. Is that halved already or no? No, uh, so two. <laughs> that hurts really bad. <laughs> okay, well, this time I did absorb elements at third level and I'm not going to waste it. <laughs> Like okay. I wasted the first one. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Okay. It is now your turn, Aranya. Is the person behind me an enemy? That's a cultist no, that's, or something, right? Uh, it's Kes. This is Kes. And this is oh, that's Kes. Okay. <laughs> um. No one would be mad if you hit her, though. No, true. Because <laughs> I have this weird feeling that an imp is going to be resistant to fire damage. You have advantage Crazy, on your next right? attack roll, by the way, because Kes provided you with the help action. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, fuck it. I'll just attack the imp because it's hurting me real bad. Okay. Um, yeah, the whole it's gonna use my vex and vax dice. Don't fail me. Mm -hmm. 
You can blame them if it does. Problem solved. Uh, that is... What am I using? My dagger or my rapier? There's no difference. I will use my rapier. Uh, that's a dirty 20 Hits. to hit. And then bonus action, I'm gonna hit with my dagger as well. Is that still advantage or no? No. Okay. I don't think an 11 hits. It does not. Okay, so the dagger will, or the rapier will do 10 plus some fire damage, which I'm sure will be halved, but let's see how many it will be. 11. So 21 total, with 11 being fire damage. Um, yeah, it seems that the fire isn't as effective as it uh, would be on anybody yeah. else, but it's still, it does still affect it, not as uh, yeah, yeah. much as it should. That is my turn. Right. Brooks. Hello. It's on you. I got a whole fucking gang around me. Hey, fuck. <laughs> fuck yeah. Fucking cultists and the two um, guys. Yeah. Why does that sound like a fucking... Uh, stupid indie band somewhere? Two bros? Cultists and the two bros? Cultists and the two bros? And the two bros. <laughs> what, two, three, four? <laughs> uh, no, I said indie. That's a rock lead in. Oh yeah, because you can't be an indie rock band, can you? Nope, impossible. That doesn't exist, man. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I didn't say indie <laughs> no, rock. No, but indie I band has no, ever no. started a song with one, two, three, four. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. shut the fuck up. I was trying to bully Koi. They're too independent for that. <laughs> I don't want their own to number. take my turn. We're not going to continue. <laughs> I'll just skip you. <laughs> I don't care for your petty bullshit. I'll skip you. Uh, do I really want to waste time beating the shit out of a cult? Nah, fuck the cultists. I'm going to keep... Uh... <sighs> Fuck. Uh, Carl isn't raging, right? Or he didn't appear to be raging? No. He right, appears well, to start. be a little too armored. That's his brother. I'm gonna deck him in the chin. Oh, what? Box him in the mouth with your X6 key. Yes, me. Uh, 19? It's. Uh. Uh, 11 points of bludgeoning damage. 11 points of bludgeoning. Okay. He's armored, but he's using a greatsword, so he's still a strong boy. Mm -hmm. so now no box point. him in the mouth of the fob that you used to log into your HSBC! Ah. <laughs> fuck's sake. Shut the fuck up. Dude. Uh, 23. It's... Uh, for 10 points of bludgeoning damage. There's no point, like, there's no point doing shit other than hitting him, because he's a strong boy and it's gonna be a waste of my time. So, yeah. I could back out of this, but while I'm here, they're not beating the shit out of everyone else. All of this is true. Ah, uh, fuck! Uh, bonus action flurry blows. Go on, go on, son. That one. Uh, one of those misses for a defo, and one is a 17? Just hits. Thank flurry God. of blows for your flurry of foes. Hmm. Uh, wait, is there anything to do with... Oh, no, that's later levels when that comes in. Okay. Uh, that is a 10 points of bludgeoning damage, but it's still magic. Right. I'm rolling like four, five, six on the D6 it's not so consistently, um, and I get a plus four and a plus two for raging. Is that your turn? Uh, see, technically, I'm disengaged now. Mm -hmm. But are you going to go anywhere? <sighs> uh, I'm going to regret this, but no. Okay. I'm going to stay there. That's my turn. All right. You have like a billion health. Nikolai is and going raging. to. Uh... No, I don't. Well on you. Back to me, you fucking do. Nicolaj. Nicolaj and Kalamash. 25 to hit? Yeah, that hits. 21 to hit? Yeah, that hits. And he's going to bonus you action frenzy say. attack. And just make oh, a weapon attack a as a bonus action as well. What an asshole. Uh, what an asshole. 
Uh, yeah, that hits. So all three hit. Fuck's sake, why couldn't the big boy miss me so that I could make him hit his brother? <laughs> so you could go, miss me, miss me, now you got to kiss me, and give him a little... <laughs> uh, 11, 7, 7, so 14, uh, 25, plus... 12, I think. Uh, no, more. Uh, oh, fuck. 6, 12, 18, because you had three attacks. So 25, plus... 18. 18 43. 43, my lord. 43 points of damage, half to 21. 21 on. Uh, okay, I'm still fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kess is gonna give Aranya the I'm in danger. Again. And now it's Coral. And he's gonna just, uh, oh, Max. swing twice with his greatsword. Come on, miss, pussy. Uh, one miss it's with a natural funny. one. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna fucking tipsy sway that, you motherfucker. Uh, the other one is a 17 to hit. Uh, that just hits. Uh, we'll do the one that hits you first, just to... Uh, that. Uh, 7 plus 6, 13, half to 6. Points of slashing damage. Then, again, oh, he so fucking chops at his I brother. Take? Oh, you, well, yeah, you would have taken... I, how much do I take? Uh, so... On fucking Nikolai's turn, you would have taken Nikolai. what was it? It was forty-three half to That's twenty-one. 21 for so, me. Yeah, so, so you'll have taken what? ten. I'm gonna use my reaction to ob oops to obfuscate that, so I reduce it to five. So yeah. five for that one. Nice. And, and then, then on this one, you'd take three. Go? Okay, yeah, I think three on the next one. So yeah. I'm taking eight total. Yeah. Uh. I, I'll remember to remind you Meanwhile, that I did. Carl hits his brother for 13 points of slashing damage. Half to, <laughs> half to six as well, because his brother is also raging. Oh, uh, that's twice now. <laughs> yep, it fucking is. It, dude, this is like something out of The Princess Bride. Like... It is, it really <laughs> is. Um, Literally, like, he's stabbing me, and then as he goes for the second one, I'm just like, zoop. This cultist right here. I mean, has Brooks right there, so it's just going to go for another inflict wounds, I think. At second level this time. <gasps> I should have saved my office to the imp with a Shit. 19 to hit. Yeah, that hits you, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, five, seven plus one is eight plus five. Oh, only 13 points of necrotic damage. Half to six. Half to six. Oh, so Dagon takes, takes three. Three. Yep. three. Cool. Okay, uh, I'm officially bloodied. Okay. Uh, this <laughs> what was that test. fucking face, Koiba? <clears throat> well, I just took fucking 78 points of damage, but I'm now just bloody dick. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. You played a battery in last time. Right? You <laughs> Yeah, no, sorry. Um, it's been a while. Been, I'm sorry. Gosh. I'm sorry. Well, my barbarian <laughs> angry. Does, does barbarian spiritual angry. weapon get opportunity attacks? No, because it's not a sentence. No, because it's not a creature. Yeah. yeah. Also, because oh, it yeah. sucks. Yeah. That's, That's why. That's why you think it sucks, okay? <laughs> it sucks, no, like, it doesn't. Half. Just use it better, you loser. Uh, this cultist is going to try and grab Arania by the arm and cast Inflict Wounds at first level. <gasps> uh, for a th a 14 to hit? Nah, doesn't hit. You see him coming from a mile away, and as you as he reaches out to grab you by the arm, you just yank your arm away, and he's just gonna. Ugh. I give him a dirty look too, cause fuck <clears throat> him. Keep your dirty hands <laughs> off me, you cultist batch. Exactly. Uh, last <laughs> batch. Oh, it's me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, fucking! I don't even know anymore. Doesn't matter. Uh, no, I will cast. You're going to stay no, prone? Was my you going to stay prone? No, I'll stand up. Okay. And then I... How are you going to stay prone? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to fucking... I'm going to my way everywhere. Yeah. Down and down. Yeah, I mean, stuff, yeah, Kess did that. that. Yeah, true. And, and uh, Kess didn't die while prone, remember? Yeah. <laughs> my fucking spirit weapon can't reach up to the cultist. It moved too far away. Which you fucking hate to see, really. You can't move it freely, though, right? Like... No, bonus action to move it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't just move. So I'm Damn. fully good at doing that. I will instead bonus action uh, mass cure wounds. Okay. No, not mass cure wounds. Mass healing words, sorry. Okay. That's the bonus oh. action one. That's sorry. One. Well, it's better than that, lads. What do we get? Uh, everyone except Laura, because I technically can't see Laura. <laughs> That's, That's fair. True. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, you, everyone heals for eight. It'll do. 
It'll do. Yeah. And then my action, I'm fucking the dome comes back. <laughs> it's pesky dome. I'm yes. no longer bloodied. See? Yes. Uh, I've been brought back up to bloodied. <laughs> I, I will just sort of look at the, the mans who fucking can grab me by the throat and just pump me full of just necrotic <laughs> damage and just be like, oh, what the hell? Yeah, want to see him do it again? <laughs> yeah, literally. This is going to happen. I love like... him getting grabbed by the throat and pumped. All right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I hey. What did you do? God, I wish I was a Lazarin. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and then I heal if I get... I get 12 temp HP. Oh. Okay. That is my turn. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do sympathetic mending again. Uh, mm -hmm. So a Lazarin will get. Oh, hell yeah, me. Um, well, this is better this time. Uh, eight, three, four, 17 hit Ooh. points. Heal. And Brooks also huge. gains four hit points. That is huge. And then after I do it, so again, the arm comes out and the energy goes, but this time, instead of the whole energy, it'll be like me leaving the body and I'm going to go over to a Lazarin. And as I go to hitchhike with a Lazarin, I'll say, don't scare me like that. And then jump into a Lazarin. And now I'm I'm possessing you if that's cool. You oh. can choose to fight it or not. <laughs> no, okay, okay. Thank you. Um, when you eject from a body, Yes. But you have to move over to a Lazarin too. Yes. I, so I'm assuming I can take an opportunity, because I'm still like physical, just not the same. I can take opportunity attacks. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. yeah. So there's, you'll, there's you'll, three of them. Like best case scenario, you'll pop out behind Brooks. So you'll leave Carl's melee. Yeah. And if you want to move to a Lazarin, like that's the, yeah. you can take a route that will only have Carl take an attack opportunity. That would speed. be optimal, yes. <laughs> yeah. Because your movement speed is just 30 feet as normal, right? It is, yes. And I have my reaction back now. Honestly, uh, if I were Carl, I would be too startled by seeing a ghost come out ghost of the person I was fighting I mean, he to does try like to attack like, it. Okay, but... like, the thing is, he sees that happen, he just... What's that? You know what I mean? He just, yeah, he just <laughs> emotion swing at it, you know? Uh, if I was Carl, I'd be more worried about hitting my brother again. <laughs> you have, how does attacking you work again? Like, as a ghost? Friend? I have an AC. It they does can target it. me. Okay, okay. Uh, 19 to hit. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, basically, the way it works is when they hit me, like, it feels like they feel resistance. They feel mm -hmm. whatever they're hitting me with, like, meet a physical, but it's almost like, like, going through, like, a viscous liquid. Like, I'm corporeal, but weird. I, I... <laughs> right. Uh, you take Aren't 10 points all? of slashing damage. Okay. Yes. It's not magical, though, so if, that, if you have resistance to that, it will only be fine. I, no, I don't have resistance. Oh, wait, hold on, I have to check. Uh, let me check that for a sec. I, I, I forgot. I have the PDF. It's, it's been a while since I looked at your sheet. On the video, so it I has. Forgot. Hold on. Um, uh, should do that's zero hit points. That's not important right now. Taking damage. Uh, where did it go? Your ghostly form. Here we go. Um, you take. You can move through creatures and objects as if they were difficult terrain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Where's the part about damage? Just should you fall to zero hit points? Yeah, I know, but tell me, do I resist things? I guess not. I don't think okay. I'm resistant, I guess. For now, I'll take the full 10 and I'll adjust it retro. I'll read through this in between and I'll adjust it if I do have resistances. All right. Uh, so you hitchhike with Elazarin and that's your turn, yeah? Well, I did the sympathetic mending as the action. Right, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. the possession is the bonus action, okay, yes. Cool. Brave I'll... move to, to to hitchhike with me. <laughs> well, I have a plan. Uh, I mean, this goddess is just gonna try and inflict wound you again because it worked well last time. Mm. What a shock! <laughs> Another mm -hmm. first level. Yeah, that's the oh. plan. Is he route 15, to get a double a kill? A oh, that Mickey. So he tries oh, wait, to go and you wait, again. I end my turn in oh, the dome. You do, so I get, yeah. I get things. You I mean, you very much end the turn in your dome. Yeah, because I'm <laughs> in you. <laughs> yeah. uh, you get 11 temp HP. Okay. And can you tell me what he rolls on the inflict wounds, please? When you uh, the guy he does missed, it? So. Oh, he missed. Great. Uh, so yeah, he oh, tries to go for the grab okay. again, and you this time. So you have a shield, right? I have a shield. Yeah. So you just stick it and push his arm back. Uh, this cultist. Then falls in with Aranya. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, cast Inflict Wounds. This motherfucker! Natural three, so that's gonna miss as well. <clears throat> Yo, they've got spells, they're cheating. And then this cult is right here. Move up to a last room. And, uh... Oh, I just checked. I do have resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical weapons. So I'll half that damage I took earlier. There you go. You took five instead of ten. Yep. Um... That would make sense. Oh, dude, my notes. So itchy. Mm. Stop railing lines of coke between sessions, then. It's... Just gotta feel something, man. Um... My dude doing lines before he mad libs the session. Hmm. Well, he's about a month and a half, so you know. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. Oh, yes. Tooltip not found. Thanks, DD Beyond. Yeah, that's really cool. No idea what the spe so that spell is on their spell list now because it. You know, the tooltip is gone. Uh, fuck it. It's gonna be another Inflict Wounds then. On who? On Laszlo for a 17 to hit. Misses. Nice. Davian. Oh, I charge. Um. <laughs> oh, and it, uh, it, uh. Bonus action. Hunter's mark. Okay. The lady? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to attack twice. Good. Uh, 25 to hit. That hits. And the 28 to hit. Uh, also hits, yeah. For the first one, I'll throw in my last and be elemental power okay. as well. Saves so that is 1d10. Wait. Hunter's Mark's a d6, yeah. <laughs> is it going to be a d6 Radiant as well from Hunter's Mark? Hunter's Mark not specified the damage type? Just an extra 1d6 damage just, whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. Ta yeah, it'll just take whatever damage it is that you deal with the weapon, yeah? Yeah, okay. So she takes... 6... 11... Oh, okay. Lost the d6. 14... Points? 14 points. Of radiant damage. From the first attack. And four points of fire damage. Okay. And then the two sons have to make a dex save. Oh uh, yeah, I really rolled those and they both failed. They both rolled single digits. Okay, so they both also take four points of fire, fire damage. Okay. As you have been fighting Lady Lactor, um, she's looking extremely bloodied and she's going to use a legendary action here. <gasps> Between kinda... my attacks? Yeah. Hold on. Between my attacks yeah. of a it's single a, it's attack. A, it's action. a reaction. She can do that whenever the fuck she wants. And you've managed to drop her to an HP level where this reaction triggers, so. Oh no. Oh, uh... mythic action. She's just gonna drop to, a, to, to, to her knees and just kind of like, she's panting and she just spits some blood on the floor. I need more strength. And she'll raise her hands and you can see all five of the cultists that are in the room as her hands oh, are raised no. she sucks the life energy <gasps> of all five of her cultists as these like five crimson streaks of blood just fly through the air entering her hands all five of the cultists just dropping dead as nothing more but just husks oh, of what they formerly were okay Cazador. jesus 
This is fine, guys. Look, there's less enemies now to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was the cultists that, like, uh, yeah, the forest Lazarin, fucking so you guys. Uh, this is good. And, like, this is a good thing. The sons are busy Causing killing her to grow in size. Ah, she's Lorg! Causing her to grow in size. Embiggened. Fucking beginning. And just... She now, instead of, like, she wasn't, like, a, like, a, like an older humanoid-looking woman. But now that she's in this stage... Oh. You can see that oh like gosh, half yeah. of her face is completely like fallen in. Oh and no! <laughs> her, her limbs kind of move in a very like more like a static way of moving. Just like and you can, it's almost like you can hear yeah. her bones crack with every move she makes. And her eyes, where previously you saw just like human eyes, like like a dark brown color, are now completely filled with blood and you see nothing but just two crimson eyeballs in her head mm. you were saying I mean, continue. <laughs> it's still like huh yeah the seeing. second attack is gonna hit oh. Oh. <laughs> 15 points of radiant damage so okay now she's technically considered undead Okay. There so, was, so basically, there was so, a very strong magic shielding her from being able to be seen or perceived by anything as undead. But now that she's in her true <clears throat> form, that uh -huh. magic has shifted, and now. So she takes dead. seventeen points of radiant damage. There you go. And the radiant. And I don't know if that is that doubled. Uh, let me double check. I do an extra D eight if she's undead, but if she's you know vulnerable to it, then. Uh, she's not vulnerable to it. Okay, so 17 points of radiant damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Their turn? Um... A push Gaywood. <laughs> Onu... Onu's gonna run over to Aranya. How far is that? Puppy! 20, 30. Puppy! 30 would take yeah. him. Yeah. I He's forgot got sneak attack on my movement, other attack so. again. Okay, just put him right here next to yeah, and he's just gonna bark at the imp enthusiastically, okay. I guess. Get him. Actually. Uh, Can he chomp? I don't know, I've kind of got an idea. Okay. He can't chomp because I would I have to use a bonus action, but. Mm. Can a spiritual weapon be picked up? <laughs> and the dog wield the sword. Oh my god, that'd be so cute. <laughs> like that border collie on TikTok. Can I just... Can... This is spectral. So I don't know what that means. If it can hit people, it can be... I was like, I'm spectral, corporal. but I'm also semi-corporeal. Yeah. I'm assuming that the weapon's similar? Um, The spiritual weapon is like it, it's a it's a spell effect that resembles a weapon and therefore isn't like a physical i just googled it it's too. not tangible <laughs> okay. So it's, okay it's it's only tangible when it decides to push. other than that it's uh, just like, see-through glowy item that would be so now cool, here's another though. question mm -hmm. i bet daigon could <laughs> <laughs> the beast yeah. acts during your turn and it can move and use its reaction on its own mm -hmm. Does that mean that Onu can take an opportunity attack as a bonus action, as, as a reaction? Sorry. Yeah. So can we can run in the other side of Aranya so that he's uh, in melee with the imp? Yeah, sure. Um, and he's going to take the dodge action. Okay. Because that's the only action he can take when I'm not commanding. Unless I'm incapacitated, which is funny. Then he has free will. No, you <laughs> okay. Is that uh, the uh, yes, thank you. Davian, you get 13 temporary HP. That's what I needed. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Jax is gonna. Uh, 5, 10. Walk up to you and give you the help action, Davian. To give you oh, nice, nice. Jax gets 13 temporary HP. Yeah, that fucking telling you, Dragon. Uh. I just now Lady Walker's turn. Well, what world? And she. 
Uh, this tab. One less tab winning. It's going to use an ability called Claw of the Devil. Oh, like Ooh. Um, she swings at you with her arm, and uh, uh, mid swing, Davian, you can see yeah. the arm change from this humanoid arm to monstrous, devilish red claw, and just mm. just rakes it at you. Um, that is a seventeen to hit. 17. Just hits, yeah. Just hits. Just okay. hits. Um, you take uh, six hundred six. You take ten points of slashing damage, mm -hmm. and I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Natural twenty. Ayo. And then that will be it. <laughs> ten points, right? Ten points yeah. of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, oh wait, bonus action. Uh oh. Bonus action, suck my balls. <laughs> bonus action, she's going to use an ability called Immolating Focus. Mmm. She's going to look at. Lassen. Actually, wait, before she does. Hmm? Get rebuked, bitch. Okay. Dex save, please. <laughs> uh, I want to get rebuked. Uh, okay, well, this one is, uh, is a natural 18. Does that mean half damage? Hold on. I believe so. You know, I... I've not been rolling enough damage on my Hellish Rebukes this whole time. I've been casting it at second level, and I haven't been rolling 3d10. <laughs> oh, okay, hate to see it. Mort. You hate to see it. We're doing great today. We're getting oh, sneak attack. So pissed, dude. Fucking I... goddamn. Yeah, we had a long really time off. Make a simple character, and then you can't forget things. Okay, so 16... Wait. Yeah, Just have 16, the DM so go 8 fire take damage. Fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, Elazrin. Hello. Lady Boxer looks at you very, like, intently. Mm -hmm. Yar. As she uses her immolating focus. Mm -hmm. And kind of imagine, you know, the first Harry Potter movie when, like, oh, Snape is, like, really eyeballing Harry on the broom and everyone's like, Oh, he's yeah. cursing him, he's cursing him. That's kind yeah. of what's happening here. Um, okay. I need you to make a, uh, a constitution saving throw. No, I'm lying. It's a wisdom saving throw, actually. Oh, let's go! I get, I plus, was... get plus 10 to this, guys. Can't wait to roll a three! I was dispelling the hex that Professor... Uh, that's a 25. <laughs> 25? Okay. You notice but, that your clothes are beginning to catch fire, but oh. uh, it doesn't stick. They start to singe, but the flames don't yeah, catch. Exactly. What? Dude, I'm pumping numbers this combat, even without the extra. Uh, it's not Imp's turn, D10. and Imp is gonna just double claw Aranya again. He's been doing. This fucking bitch. I mean, <laughs> you're there, man. You have a new uh, natural 17 and a natural 19. I hate them. Wait, so what's the total on either of those? Uh, bidi bidi hoo. Plus five. Oh, wait, I don't think I have a reaction anyway, right? Do I? I don't know. Yeah, I do. It's a new round, right? So. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's at the start. You get it back when it's your turn. So if you've, even though it's a new round, but if you haven't had a turn since you last used your reaction, you wouldn't have it back The yet. lowest That's with a plus five so is, uh, is 22 to hit. Well. Oh, well. I guess I have to take it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sad face. Uh, ooh. Uh, ooh. Uh, 15 points of slashing damage. Ow. As well as... Uh, 4 points of fire damage. Alright. Um... Nope, I don't have a reaction, so... Ah! <laughs> well, it's your turn now, so you'll have an action and bonus action movement. Yeah, but that doesn't help me with the fire damage. <laughs> um, not gonna forget... Freaking sneak attack this time, god damn it. Uh well, to I'm be fair, attack with heh. You've never had an ally adjacent to it until now because Onu now rocked up. It's when I have advantage and I've been getting the help action. You fucking right, you have. That is very true, actually. My bad. That's why I've been forgetting because I'm this not visually seeing weird. like flanking. So <laughs> I was like, clearly I don't. But yeah, not anyway. True, yeah. Um So mm -hmm. 
rapier first. Whoa, that's a natural 20! Ooh. Okay. Bye bye, imp. Um, okay, so how do you guys do crits again? Just the double Max double damage dice? and then just like roll like roll as normal on top of it. And I assume the max damage does not include sneak attack? Oh, it will. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it will. Oh, yeah. it will. It crit, does? Crit applies to any dice rolls. Yeah, Yo. so any dice you would roll, imagine all those dice at max damage, and then roll a normal attack and add that to your rolled total. Right, right, right. Okay, so... uh, Well, that's 26 before modifiers... Uh, with modifiers, what is math? 29. And then I shall roll. Mm -hmm. 18 more. 29 plus 18. 47. Yeah. 29, 47. Uh, you just... This is your rape here, right? Yep. Like, very precisely, like, very elegantly, just... And very like swiftly jam rapier directly into its forehead as it's kind of like darting around trying to dodge it. You just <laughs> and as you pull it out, you can see this like the wings stop fluttering and it just and as it's on the floor, Sucks you can see suck. its body slowly disintegrates. <laughs> All right, and then bonus action, I'm going to blessing of the Raven Queen teleport hopefully behind big bitch uh but as close as i can get with 30 feet uh behind is gonna be a little hard because there could be a wall there um, i'll go with on the steps yeah. then to her side if that's 30 feet um there. five ten fifteen twenty twenty five yeah you can just do that and uh aranya is supremely fucked up okay. um but, thanks to Blessing of the Raven Queen, I have resistance to all damage until the start of my next turn. Okay. Very cool. We'll see how that helps with seven <laughs> hit points left. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> Rooks. Hello. I've... I'm a fuck up Carl, I guess. Uh, and... See, this is the problem. I want a reckless because I'm like, well, they've been fucking slamming me anyway. No. But then if I reckless, he's definitely not going to miss. And then I can't make him stab his brother. Okay. Oh, I forgot about the brothers. <laughs> Wait, so run away one more time. If I reckless. So Nikolai has not missed an attack on me. Correct. So I'm tempted to reckless. Because he'd hit you regardless, is what you're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, if I'm reckless, then Carl might not miss. And I can't and then make you can't hit Nikolai with Carl. Right, yeah. yeah, right. Is right. it only the next attack or is it all attacks? It's all attacks until the start of my next turn. Uh, so yeah, fuck it. I'm not going to reckless. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to double punch Nikolai this time instead of Carl. Uh, one of those is an as twelve, Misses. and the other one's a twenty-four. It's... Oh shit! For uh, thirteen points of bludgeoning damage. <clears throat> and because it's uh, magical, it doesn't get halved by the rage, right? Ooh, I'm. Mm. No, if it's bl no, it's all it's, it's still bludgeoning, so it still gets halved. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, because it doesn't state it doesn't state yeah. non magical. Barbarians true, are true, true. literally the like one of like maybe five cases in fifth edition of like resistance to bludgeoning magic. I also forgot otherwise. to say, Aranya gets fifteen temporary HP. No, <gasps> oh, thank okay. you. Uh, so yeah, you. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that's damaged him, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, no. No, because Carl's also damaged him, but you have that. Oh, the fire. <laughs> He's taken fire damage. He probably should have 10 more health than he does. If, you, if you've been... You should have been halfing mine, but I've not done loads of damage. That's fine. You, but you've mainly been focusing on Carl, so it's whatever. I think I only hit him in the first round, and I think yeah. I only did about 20-something. I think I by default halved it anyway, because... 
No, in the first round he yeah. wasn't deraging yet. Because you got a turn before him. Oh. So, no, we're fine. Then yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, this is the first time you focus him while he's been raging because you've been focusing his brother. Yeah. And then realizing that he takes these hits with ease. I'm going to throw my head back and try and headbutt Carl in the fucking nose while he's behind okay. me. Yeah, roll attack. Uh, it's a 26? Yes. My d20 rolls are mid. T20. My d6 rolls, 5 and 6 every <laughs> fucking time. Mm -hmm. uh, 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh, man. Okay. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah, yeah. You get 10 temp HP. Oh, Pog. Nikolai is going to miss. He's going to turn away Manifest from you. Manifest it. He's going to miss. He's going to turn away from you. Noticing mm. that Aranya just appeared behind him. Oh, no! Uh, that was a little too <laughs> close <laughs> to his dear old mother. And is going to swing his great axe at, the, at Aranya twice. Okay, but now I have a reaction, so please. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> 22 to hit and a 15 to hit. Damn it! Well, the 15 misses, 22 hits. Mm -hmm. Not even a shield can save me. I was say, you have your resistance <laughs> shit and the. I do have food. resistance, yeah. Okay, uh, so you take 12 points of slashing damage, half to six. Just don't get Kiki it in his mail the next That's time. not too bad. I. Shut up! <laughs> um, <laughs> just don't do the dumb thing but I've already done the use dumb a, thing use a bonus action to frenzy attack and hit you again that's a natural 20 guys oh bye does it get any <laughs> if, what, so if Aranya dies here it's Soko's fault for not being here What's to silvery babs it right does it mean frenzy attacks does it just come like one less or... it's just if you use your attack sh action to attack you just use yeah. your bonus action to make one yeah, but isn't it like a dis there's like a disadvantage having like using your frenzy no attacks he's just a berserker right? barbarian when, when he's, he's raging barbarian. he can attack his bonus action yeah yeah but I'm pretty sure with the berserker barb you get like while in frenzy the barbarian may make a single weapon made attack as a bonus action on each of their turns after this one. Oh. What the fuck am I thinking of? <laughs> I might be getting Great Weapon Master mixed up in all my brain. Maybe, yeah. Probably what it is. That's minus five, isn't it? Alright, no. uh, so how so dead am 20. I? So that's 12 plus 5, 17 plus... Six or nine. That's a six. So 23 points of slashing damage. You're still resistant, though. So, uh, so then uh, 11. Yes. <laughs> Y'all, I'm still up. Let's go! <laughs> Uh, Kess is going to move up and give Brooks the help action. <laughs> so fucked up, though. And Carl's going to swing at Brooks twice. Wait, she's giving it to me? Yes. Uh, uh, Carl has advantage, right? Because oh. you, you reckless, or did you not? I did not reckless. You did not reckless, okay. Uh, so that's a 12 on the so, first one, then. That's going to hit Nikolai. Mm -hmm. Second one is a dirty 20 to hit, though. Okay, that does hit. So the one that hits you. This, do you know what? This is the best use of my key points. The one that Fox hits Sunning you strike. is uh, twelve, so six points of slashing damage. Cool. The one that hits the uh, old brother is <clears throat> fourteen, so seven. <gasps> really quick. Mm -hmm. The first attack that hit me. How much damage was it? I got hit twice, right? Yes. Because I, I have like uncanny six. dodge, so I could have at least used that. I don't think it was. I don't think it was that much. Uncanny dodge just makes you take half damage again. Right? It halves it. Yeah. I mean, I think it was like a like because you already have resistance. I think it was like six. Can I use it for the second one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take five so, hit points back then. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, dude, fucking Nikolai is just like. Really, my brother in Christ. Really this is the at third brother, time. Like, what are you doing? He's like, is there something you forgot to tell me? Like, like this is the third that time that he is. Like, we're getting to the point man. where Nikolai is considering Carl a traitor, and all <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, imagine we make them turn on each other in fighting. Uh, Lazarin. Uh, just in a kiss gets twelve temp HP. Uh, okay. uh excellent. I will. 
bonus action move my fucking spiritual weapon up 20 feet. Just fucking straight up 20 feet. <laughs> Woo. Cool. Excellent. Uh, and then as uh, action, how like how fuck's everyone looking? Aranya's yeah. looking real funny. You're looking bloody. How's Davian and Brooks looking? I have Davian's... 10 out of 50 hit points. <laughs> yeah, Davian's pretty fucking bloodied. But pretty bloodied? Not. Mm, pretty bloodied. Uh, okay. I am not bloodied. Okay, that's cool. Shut I will. You. <laughs> I will then. Oh, did I get more 10 page people? No, never mind. No. I... I'm stupid. You got it, and then you lost it. <laughs> I will. Uh, fucking yeah, I'll use the spell scroll of masculine wounds then. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, so... Really big bollocks over here. Fancy. Fucking... Uh, 14. Yeah. It gets 3d8 plus 5 healing. Uh, give Ooh. it to everyone. Can I? Would this include I... me? Can I technically it give it to Daigon? Let me just... Like... Let me... What's it's like, that? I know she's like... What's Let the me... wording? Oh, I gotta find the fucking spell real quick on my spell list. Uh, fucking. Is it mass healing word? Mass cure wounds. Oh, cure wounds. Uh, Six creatures in a, in a sphere centered on a point. Okay, I'm that. in the sphere. You can. So, I mean, like, I could put cool. it fucking wherever I can get everyone, which is on me anyways. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, everyone who is here is gonna get it. Um, <laughs> heck, the other two, they're not here right now. I'm so excited. Oh, goo. <laughs> uh, everyone heals for... No, I got two sixes, in, but then I did get one once. So, uh, everyone does heal for 18. Ooh, oh, I'll, I'll take it. it. 18. <laughs> Puts me pretty close. Uh, and then that will be my turn. Do I get better temp HP? I do get better temp HP. That's now 15 I have. That's my turn. Put me back on what's up to four, so. I can. Um, I will um, invoke Smite on the Sunblade, so some more of that intertwined, like, weird, radiant, necrotic, hybrid energy uh, leaves a Lazarin's body and kind of, like, intertwines itself with whatever magical aura is around the Sunblade for the next time Davian attacks with it. Mm -hmm. And, and I have advantage. Yeah, exactly. Uh, helps you, yeah. Exactly. Uh, that's that's my turn. I will stay here in the last room. Chill. Right. Oh, Davian. Just for posterity, I would like to say after I took that six damage or something, I did roll a concentration check for oh. Hunter's Mark, my son, and it was all good. So I will attack Lady Vachter with uh, the Sunblade. First is a natural 18, which would be a 27, but let's see if we can get a natural 20. Okay, so first attack is a 27 to hit. Hell yeah. That's huge. It deals... Uh, oh, it does an extra D... 8? Because she's undead? Yeah. You so. And yep. I've rolled my damage yep. from the smite. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> so that's 13 radiant damage from me. How mm -hmm. much from the smite? An additional 10. So 23 points. Mm -hmm. um, and then attack number two. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's an 18 to hit. Hits. Twenty points of radiant damage. Ooh. She's not dead. Nah, she just sucked the life out of five she people. Just, yeah, she just, she's not dead. <laughs> Come she, on. Again, though, looking bloody. Cool again, like dropping to one knee and just. <sighs> this can't be. Oh no, it's gonna. Please let her take the life out of her sons. That was she just is be going so to just fucked look up. No. Her sons. Uh, no. Oh, no. And she'll just say. I pray you understand. It's <gasps> too important. And it's going to what begin. Two streaks of crimson energy. Oh, shit! Energy. 
Okay, oh, damn. Just... You're wasting my fucking time! <laughs> As they no, you kept them hella distracted. Drop yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, I am up here she on this platform kind of just like slicing and dicing. As she, what like, a bitch. Oh feels God. her form with more of the energy. Oh, Devin, you have 12 uh, temp HP, by the way. Because of the fact that she, like, grows in size again, I'm gonna say that okay. all of you that are, like, around her immediately get pushed back, like, down the steps, like, 10 feet, so you're all, like... Bleh. Like, you don't take damage or anything, but just, like, okay. to make space for her going even bigger. <laughs> Boom. Big Mama's house, too. Uh, Koiba, I also forgot to ask about temp HP. Oh, I yeah, fucking... Uh, What's the rule 14. for that? 14. I roll a d6, and I get plus my current level. No, but, like... Uh, when do we get it? At the, at end, the end of your turn. turn. At the if end of your turn, dome. if you're in the dome. If you're, oh, okay. Oh, so I should have been getting it. You have been getting it every time, by the way. You, I've been giving it to you. I have been saying. So I guess. Yeah. It's... I know I? we normally don't do this. Yeah, but like for last turn, you were like, thank you. I remember like two turns where I got it. But it's I've been three been in turns the dome, of combat. Like, of well, don't forget, don't forget, I had a one turn where there was no dome. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So. That makes sense. It's been you were though. like me. You missed out on the first bit of dome. Is there anything else that you wanted? Also, we, went, we went before him and didn't get dome. Ah, uh, that makes sense. And then he cast I died. it. And <laughs> then it got knocked <laughs> off he before died. we got who, Wait, back who's to that us? over on the left with the... Oh, is that Aranya on the left with yeah. the phone? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, they on the left. Onu, Onu's going to go... He's going to uh Elias. There's no more enemies. Is that Lazarin, <laughs> you said? There's yes, one and take the dodge action. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, for the dog to run past. Uh, Jax is going to give you the help action again. Excellent. Oh, me? Okay, awesome. Yeah. Uh, Lady Walker is going to cry. <laughs> no. <laughs> she has no heart. She doesn't care that she just kills her action, son. Misty step. So no opportunity attack when they do that. <sighs> no, she is a, so lorg. And as she, she is like very me. aptly pointing her finger in oh, no. this, uh, no. on this mini, <laughs> points her finger and just this line of just flames burst out from the ground and Owie. uh hits or like I need I need Kess, <gasps> Brooks, and Aranya to make a dexterity saving throws. As this Ooh, line I'm of fire those, that erupts and as long as I roll well. Followed Question. shortly by a just a very loud. This is a spell, correct? No. An ability, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. And it okay. hasn't been. I haven't had a turn since I did my blessing of the Raven Queen, or have I? I don't remember. I don't think you're you about have. To, you're about to get one. Yeah. Okay. Right. 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 Okay. So you I still, still have, have resistance. Thank goodness. Yeah. Is this a, an effect I can see? Okay. Yeah, flames shooting up. Keep I mean, pointing. yeah, because I guess. So I get. I get danger sense and I get yeah. advantage. Sure, man. Nice. Fuck Imagine yeah. if goes, no, actually don't see the massive fire. <laughs> I <laughs> mean, he might. Like, I didn't assume. It's I asked like, because uh... I'm sure, like, there are scenarios where What's you can, fucking... in theory, see it, but it happens so fast that, what? like, danger sense wouldn't apply. What's the fuck? It's like a spider sense where you just, like, just do it. Well, also, what's the fucking, like, liquid that, like, when it burns, it burns invisibly? And it's like a oh, thing. Oh, fuck. I know what you mean. Yeah, I yeah, you mean. yeah. I don't know what it is. Anyway, deck saves, please, yeah. guys. 18 for Aranya. Okay. Uh, you mean methanol, Koiba? Yes. Uh, 23. Okay. Uh, you, roll, you all take half damage, including Kes. Excellent. What sort of damage? About five. Well, I wonder, this line of exploding fire, <laughs> what damage that's going to deal. Look, it man, it's D&D. It, &D. it, it could be fucking hemorrhoid damage for all I know. <laughs> oh my nah, you're just being a dum-dum and you don't want to admit that you're being a dum-dum. Come on. I'm just checking. What's the damage? Uh, it would have been 40 points of fire damage because you made the save oh. 20. But it'll be 10 for me. Thank and me. Fuck. <laughs> It's only Kess that gets fucked over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Shane here, fuck that bitch. Yeah. What happens if fucking Kess dies when Bell's like, hey, we just tell her and laugh? No, if that happens, we just go fucking get fucked. Uh, Aranya, you're up. 
Yeah. Well, now that she's far away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do now, actually, because I could chill touch or I could shoot. I feel like chill touch being magic has more of a chance of doing more damage, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So fingers crossed. Let's see. Ha! <laughs> That's a 12. <laughs> Something tells me that doesn't hit. No, <laughs> no she's <Weird>. pretty big. <laughs> Um, do I have a bonus action that I can do? I mean, I could bless him the Raven Queen again, but do I want to, is the question. Mm. Oh, I would like to attempt to hide as my cunning action. Um, I guess you can, like, move up to the I steps would... and try to hide out of sight. It's a little hard. Yeah, but, like, um, crouch. You could hide behind one of those, like, pillars of torchy things in the chair. I guess. True. Yeah, like, behind the chair here. Yeah, 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 I'll, I'll try to hide sure. there. Make a stealth check. Uh, let me double- I gotta double check what my- I think I have a plus three, but I have an advantage, I believe. If I can find stealth. Yes. Please don't fail me dice. Uh, they failed me. That's only a 13. So you never ask them, because that's when they'll be like, chat, no. I know. They're mm. like, oh, you don't want me to do what? <laughs> Alright. Uh, if that's your turn, then Brooks, we're up. Yep, that's it. I at least have cover. <laughs> You're never going to guess what I'm going to do on this turn. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to fucking jump up onto the platform. Oh, you're going to jump up? No, no, never mind. I'm taking the bis. I'm going to run up to her. You don't say. Yeah, you And and hit her shins. I have, both, <laughs> I have Do I still have advantage because Kess help action to me? Yep. Uh Fuck it. I'm a puncher in the fucking kneecaps. Go on. <laughs> Am I ooh, ooh. How strong do we think she is? She's very big. What size is she considered at the moment? Uh, she, Huge, was normal, or she, grew, she was like medium, but she grew twice, so it goes medium large. So huge, yeah. Her She's heart grew two huge. sizes okay. this day. Then yeah, I'm a. <laughs> unfortunately, that's rarely conductive to good health. I'm, I'm just gonna punch her in the kneecaps. Okay. Her uh, heart grew two sizes. It's also only because the rest of her did too. Yeah. <laughs> for twenty-five to hit, it's for ten points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, second attack, I don't get advantage on, right? Mm -hmm. Natural 20. Ooh. Ooh. With, no, with no advantage, so Hell get yeah. fucked, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so 6, 11, 13, and another 6. Uh, 19 points of magic bludgeoning damage okay. to her shin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've broken then... her tibia. <laughs> Her kneecap, like, kneecap. She's just like in the back of her knee now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Bonus action, knee. flurry of blows. Okay. Knee, th knee things freak me out. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have them to yours. Yeah. Funny, funny enough, yeah. My dude got knee trauma. Yeah. I mean, that's very fair, fair, bro. If you like, PTSD. feel it, my fucking knee. <laughs> PTSD. <knee. laughs> um, yeah, bonus action, flurry of blows. I got three and a four, so a fucking... 11 and a 12. Both miss. Yeah, I guessed. Mm -hmm. Alright. As a free action, I'm gonna cry. Okay. <laughs> uh, Guess... Well, you have a weapon. 10 PTP, if you... Guess is gonna move up to Aranya and give her the help action for her next attack. Chinks. Uh, Laszlo. Oh, hell yeah. My approach weapon's gonna be 20 feet towards her. God, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it couldn't have been 30. Had to be 30. <laughs> yep. And then I <laughs> fucking I hate this. The nothing. Uh, I will just at second level cast Guiding Bolt on her. Uh, it's a s 17 to hit. It's 
Oh, fucking, let's go. How many fucking d6 is this probably? 5d6 damage, let's go. One, one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for 22 points of damage. 22? Yes, sir. Howdy doody dooties. Uh -huh. Damn it, she's on fucking one health. <laughs> <laughs> you hate to see it. Remember how I like exact lethal you earlier? Oh, oh you exact yeah. lethal? Did I do it? You did it as well. How do you want to finish It's that? exactly <laughs> lethal! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, you mean I, if I hit those bonus sections, I, oh, fuck I uh, me. I fucking, I've been knocked down. I've not been having a great day today at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just sort of look at just go fuck yourself. <laughs> and like, <laughs> just a bolt of a radiant energy comes out and just hits her and immolates her. Hell a bit. yeah. And As she's immolating, she just screams and squeals. And as she drops to her knees, like partially already completely being disintegrated. <laughs> She She'll grows just let again. out one last. <laughs> Here's the ancient. Here's oh. the land. Ah, and then she crumbles. Creepy. Here's fuck it next. Um... That was my fucking kill, the last <laughs> ring. <laughs> <laughs> Should we, uh, before we deal with the aftermath yeah. of this fight, uh, yes. go on break? Yeah, yes. yeah. Sure. I. She stole my kills. I was going to kill both of her sons. She stole everyone's <laughs> kill, but no her one kills own. my sons but me. <laughs> <laughs> All of the fucking Literally. setup of making them stab each other, and she just fucking <laughs> dice like, and oh, hoovers. She's their like, you guys are idiots, out. and just kills them. She's like, yeah. shit, they're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we'll be right back, gamer gang. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. And we'll be back in a few minutes. See you in a bit. Woo.
Where's mine? I have Hello. uncooked ramen. Hello. Hi. Hello. How you do? I do okay. Oh. I do okay. Welcome Hello. back, everybody. Everybody. So, after you've uh, disintegrated Lady Wachter. <clears throat> Question. Uh, hold. And she utters this, this one last... He is the ancient, he is the land, before she completely fades away. You can see the coffin maker's body in the middle of the room begins to float a foot above the ground. Ugh. Chains, the only thing keeping him from floating further up. As his body begins to contort and crack, and you can see blood beginning to pour from his ears, his eyes, his nose, his mouth, and eventually even through his pores. All of his blood leaving his body. His o his eyes glow a bright red. And all you hear... He is the Ancient. He is the land. He is the Ancient. He is the land. Can I shoot him? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, okay. Underneath him, you now see... That was previously covered by his body. Is the, 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 the Von Zarevich family crest. Carved okay. in the altar he was on. And the blood begins to fill the carves and fills the entire <coughs> crest. And his body just begins to twist and contort even more violently. Bones cracking. Yeah. The chains, all four of them, snap. He soars to the ceiling. <laughs> slams into the ceiling, which is roughly 10, 15 feet above you. Gross. Uh, and from the crest, this just large beam of necrotic energy emerges, raising all the way to the ceiling, <laughs> disintegrating the coffin maker. And then the room falls quiet for a few seconds. And then you can feel the ground beginning to shake. Oh, no, no. Walls beginning to crack. What do you I do? I call Onu over, and he leaves into my arms that I hold him just in case anything is about to. Like Scooby Doo no. with Shaggy. Mm -hmm. or, or like Shaggy with Scooby Doo, just like holding the dog. <laughs> hey, sometimes Scooby holds Shaggy. What were you going to ask? <laughs> I was holding, mm -hmm. but. <sighs> Fuck it, doesn't matter. I was going to be like. Did the brothers, the sons, leave bodies? But like, the fucking don't matter now. Don't matter now. There's bigger. We're getting bigger the fuck out. Okay. Did Lady Richter, like Lady Richter, didn't leave Lots a corpse, her. right? No, she got Lady, disintegrated Lady by Richter. the. Uh, well, I think disintegrated. Well, that's how you. What you said in your. How do you want to finish her off? So that's what happened. Quite well. Did she have any very obvious magical items that didn't get disintegrated? Fucking ones, isn't it? That uh, are just laying the in the ruby, pile. Like this, this, this like rod with a ruby, like a large ruby on top of it, yeah. Does Davian still okay. have a fucking mark on his face? No, that has disappeared now that she's- Oh, okay, thank cool. god. This was oh, okay. no jack was fucking- <laughs> Like, basically what that was, mechanically, that was yeah. just like a glorified hunter. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna like run- Like a hex and hunter mark combined, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I would like to, uh, grab my jacket that I dumped on the floor. Wrap it around this rod so that I'm not making direct contact with it. Okay. Pick it up. And climb through the window and start fucking off. Right. Uh, can I just do a quick scan of the room so there's anything just... Uh... Like... I don't know, just anything obvious that might catch my eye that I'm thinking we're missing. Okay, what's on this little altar in front of the chair? Am I doing perception, um, did you say? Perception, yeah. <clears throat> Well, the room is like shaking and the walls and ceilings are beginning to crack. But if you want to look at the altar, uh, Davian, you can. Yeah, it's. I'm having uh, more of a quick scan, like anything fucking obvious that we're like. Yeah, I'm going to Indiana shit. Jones this shit. Yeah, uh, 18. 18? Not really. Cool. That's fine. I'm like, no clues here. Davian, Get the fuck through. Uh, yeah, can I. Can I I'm going to fucking yeet Onu towards the window and I'm going to run over. This altar, real Make quick. Make a section check. Uh, 18 plus da, 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 7, 25. Um, okay. Let me just quickly. Yeah. What you see is 
this emblem the emmet to you okay you carved into okay. the altar that's it correct do i know what it is it's religion check Ooh. That's a natural two. You have no idea. <laughs> Heck. Is it um is it like carved into the altar? Yeah. Can I like try and commit it to memory? Sure. Okay. And then I will run the fuck out of there through the window. Okay. I'm doing the classic Grab time, Damien! <laughs> Oh. So as you uh, as you leave, you you make your way back out of yeah. the place the way you came, essentially. Uh, the ground is shaking, the walls are, are collapsing, and as you all like exit the Doctor Mansion, it completely crumbled, killing anyone that was left inside. What? So all the cats yeah. and the daughter. Yeah. Covered yeah. by the wow. the the, the, rum, the 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 remains of, of this building, the the debris. And you can see now. Like, is it the moment the we sky. leave? Huh? The like we got out just in time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit! When you look into the sky, you can see it's like crimson ball of energy, slowly mm. spreading, turning the entire night sky this just deep crimson red. And Gross. in front of you, this, like, figure appears. He just kind of, like, blinks into existence, if you will, um, of this pale man, long, dark hair, walking around oh, with yeah, a, isn't it? a cane, long, black cloak with a red shirt, neat pants, he just looks at you all. Vlaki has fallen. <gasps> you will learn what happens to heroes that visit Barovia. Sick of your meddling? I know why you're here. Let's finish this. And he disappears. Uh, I just have a quick question. That, like, red orb mm -hmm. that is going into the sky or has gone to the sky, mm -hmm. roughly how far away is it? At this, like, like a couple hundred feet. Up there. Did Aranya recognize How fast is it person? traveling up there? Oh, that was Strahd. You recognized the man. That was Oh, it was Strahd. Strahd. Okay. It, was, how, it was the guy. How, how fast is it traveling up? Is it so... Uh, it is quick, kind or? of hovering now, and you can see that when Strahd announced that Vlaki has fallen... You can see this, like, previously kind of, like, invisible barrier that kept the mist from entering is slowly being, like, it, like you see this I will radiant... try... Hold on. Let me finish my okay. fucking thought, Poiba. Sorry. Um, Sorry. Let me finish describing the scene, and then you can react. Yeah? Shall we do that? <laughs> like we have been doing for five years? Thanks. Sorry! Uh, I'm, so I'm very, I'm very sorry, Dutch. Uh, <laughs> you can see this, like, very faint, <laughs> shimmering whitish yellow energy is slowly being sucked into the orb as the mist from around the town slowly begins to creep in. And now you get to react. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I will use steps of the night okay. and fly up as fast as I can to try and be within 120 feet of it. Okay. And I'm gonna to attempt to dispel magic. Ooh. I'm gonna to attempt? Yeah. Okay. So at this point, like, what's the range on the spell magic? It's 120 feet. So I want to get to within 120 feet. Of so it. you're 80 feet above the ground right now, because we'll say that it's 200 okay. feet up there. Okay, yeah. Yep, okay. that's fine. Now I'm just going to try and point and dispel magic on it. At what level? Uh, it'll be third, so I'm going to have to roll. Um. Yes, you will. How does the spell magic work again? Uh, is the DC is 10 plus whatever the spell's level is. Okay. Um, so wherever I have to be, but I will find that out. Yeah. DC is 20. I don't know what... <laughs> using your spellcasting ability. So is that just using my wisdom? Just, just, just a wisdom, wisdom check? Yeah. Cool. Uh, that's 
Uh, 15, no, anything's gonna do it. <laughs> no. No. Furthermore, you trying to mess with it? Oh, God. Oh. You just immediately, as you try your best to dispel whatever magical effect this is, yep. it lashes out at you. You can see the yeah, streak okay. of crimson just <laughs> bursting you in your chest, and you begin to fall. Question. Can Question. I? Before you begin, hold on. You begin falling happens? 80 feet. So it'll be, you know, because your, your fall speed is, I think I'm pretty sure, is just however your, whatever your movement speed is. Like, I have a. Like Technically, falling in D&D is instant, but like, it's fucky. Yeah, I, I mean, have feather fall? No well, you fall 500 feet in 6 seconds. Um, you guys, okay, we'll say that you guys begin to see Lazarin fall in, and I'll, I'll give you a chance to do something. Never mind. What I was going to do doesn't apply. I, I can't feather fall until he's within 60 feet of the ground. <laughs> That's fine. So he falls, like, you but fall, I'll do it. It's pretty fast, and then but you can. Yeah. yeah. So by the, by the just... time you've even thought to cast it, he's within 60 feet. Yeah, exactly. So, so you, right, cast, yeah. you cast Featherfall. It is actually shit! <laughs> and the Lazar, and you just like, you just go, oh, oh! And you slowly <laughs> begin to fall to the ground and land on your feet. Um, as we're all stood there. Mm -hmm. Fuck this place. <laughs> I... I cut my, I cut my hands around my mouth. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on, let me double check this. <laughs> yeah. I cut my hands around my mouth, and I, I I whisper a little a little something, and then I go, and a little a little uh, a glowing white bird like a robin flutters out from my hands, and settles between us all. Okay. Um. And. Every few seconds, it just heals someone for one d six hit point. Oh, you, oh fucking! Uh, it Demon can heal spirits. a number of times equal to one plus my spellcasting ability modifier, which is three. So it can heal four times. Um, it will heal Aranya one time. <laughs> for... Just once. <laughs> Two points of healing. <laughs> um, it will heal Ar Aranya. <laughs> <laughs> Another time for two points of healing. And how's it looking? I'm looking real healthy. Real healthy. Real yeah, healthy. Real <laughs> healthy. Really fucking good. I... No, there's small scratch. I'm not bloody. I'm not there's bloody. a lot of fucking stab wounds in my shirt, but he'll heal a <laughs> <Aranya. laughs> for five points of healing. Uh, and it'll heal me once because my spells fuck you. <laughs> my spells fuck you. Healing. And then it will. I'm now back to being bloody. Away. <laughs> As you like, see the mists kind of creeping in. You begin hearing alarm bells ringing, and this guards gathering, and just, two arms, men, and they rush to all entry points uh -huh. of the city, and uh, you see this group of people uh, led by Urban Martikov, the innkeeper of uh, uh, the Blue Water Inn, and leader of this, like, you know, this, uh, this, uh, the Keepers of the Feather. Uh, just, I don't, I don't know what happened, but we're under attack. If you're to do whatever you need to do, you need to leave town now. We'll hold the line. But you need, once the full force of the troops arrive, you won't be able to get help. Okay. Hold fast. And I... Uh, do I have anything I can just give them? No. No, I don't have the spell slots for that. <laughs> Good old pat on the back and be like, You got this. <laughs> and uh, I guess he's we'll start like, to... Puts his hand on your shoulder and just nods. And then he just like... Like motions his 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 group and they rush to the northern entry points uh, of the of the town, and you can already hear just a cacophony of sounds. Whether it's like gurgling of, of undead, which is a sound that you very which you're very well aware of, you also hear distant howls. As it seems what that, that whatever troops and and minions Strahd had waiting for this moment are on their way. 
you know, to, to I, snuff out the final bit of hope that Barovia had of standing against Ron. I feel mm. bad now. Hmm. Why? We killed a big player. I think we were. This was destined to happen a little bit. I, I think know, there wasn't no. I, I think I think it was gonna be bad. quite difficult for us to have stopped this. Yes. We had to waste a few turns. I think. So uh, do we? <laughs> hold on. We do have a map, right? But yeah. Do we, we have, have a map? That's Strata. Yeah. A map. A map. A map. And we are. I'm the lucky. The lucky. What is it? The travel distance from uh, Valaki. I have this fucking spreadsheet. <clears throat> Can't even fucking see it. Yeah, it's... Oh, I see it. To the to the gates of Ravenloft. Yeah. When you head towards the west gate. Yeah. Wait, what? When you head because west gate's on the route to Ravenloft gates. Yeah. That's Valaki. Ravenloft's east. Yes, but, yeah, but the, the place west is gate. called West Gate. <laughs> Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, so the travel Isn't distance to um, to the gates of Ravenloft is about two and a half hours normal normal walking pace. Oh, that's not so bad. Yeah, like the travel distance, the map is quite big and makes it look like there's a lot of travel distance yeah. between, but the places but are all very close together. Like Because it's a detailed map. Yeah. Maybe, <sighs> well, we should start moving, but we'll go past old Bone Grinder on the way. Maybe we could find some shelter there. When we sort of clear out, we, right? I mean, we have shelter. I point to the fucking house yeah, the that house. we have. That is our moving <laughs> fortress. Oh, yeah. That I yeah, control the, the stone. Oh, sort of. That can sort of, move and, while we and, rest. Yeah, because I can. I don't sleep, rest. so I can move the house too yeah. while you're sleeping. All right. Yeah, yeah let's go. Everyone fuck off into the house. Are we, are we, are we tired, <laughs> sleepy boys, or like. Aranya is the dial. first one into the house. Yeah, you, did, <laughs> yeah, pretty... you did like park it on the open, like on the the like the west side of Valaki. That's so you fine. Can, you can you can go around. There's a road. You can go around. Run. Yeah, we are street, literally doing the like. Where the fuck do we park for car? Fucking where? <laughs> <laughs> shit, dude. Where's car park? <laughs> dude, like, what shit was this um, car park? Fuck. But yeah, as you enter the house and. Mm. The house leaves and like a small bit of distance begins to create between you and Valaki. Yeah. You can see from the woods all these mm. monsters emerging. Zombies, skeletons, werewolves, vampires, and they are all charging at Valaki. And you can see at each of the gates in Valaki, there's quite a sizable, like small like group of people, like a small army per gate. Like, just like a holding militia. The line. And <clears throat> there's like all the keepers of the feather are there as well. Um so it looks like they have their own fights to uh their own battle to uh to fight while you take the fight to that's already the okay oh, you know. no. well um fingers save, crossed for all the cool npcs can I save get, those bones for nothing can i get Ooh. jacks to identify the rod yeah yes you can <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Jax. You got ten minutes to stare at my rod. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. your rods back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> On ships, it's only us. <laughs> Two seconds. Uh, he identifies it, and then he relays to you. This is a ruby rod of Asmodeus. Ooh. Asmodeus. Hot damn. My ruby rod of Asmodee. A what? <laughs> what does that mean? Um, what does it do and how fucking cursed is it? So he'll relay that um, it is a very powerful relic of Asmodeus, which it seems that mm -hmm. Lady Walker's cult uh, very much catered to like it was already kind of clear with like the devilish companion she mm -hmm. had is that I'm sure they... that, like, that would be the symbol that i saw uh that is your best guess yeah so yeah. the symbol you saw is indeed the symbol of Asmode uh, asmodeus um and it it just seems to you that um strad just and you've also got these letters that you found right that prompt that that showcase some kind of deal between the walkers and and and, and strad that um, you know he he gave 
this like small cult of Osmodius led by Lady Wachter, or the Wachter family, shelter and, and safety, as long as, and, and freedom to practice their, their cult shenanigans, as long as it was, as long as their goals were aligned with his. Which, until, you know, until the moment of their demise, it, they were, it seems. Because they're, you know, she used her power to, 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 to break down the defenses around Valaki, assassinate the Burgomaster, all things that Strahd instructed her to do. Uh, mechanically, um, Jax will know that if anyone that isn't Asmodeus tries to use the rod, attuned to it, uh, there's a very high likelihood that it will instantly kill you. No! This is only oh, to be no. given to people that have proven themselves and are were worthy of the title Avatar of Asmodeus. Um, and if you do die trying to attune to this relic, uh, your soul is sent straight to the Nine Hells for all eternity, and only a oh. wish spell or divine intervention can... Oh, shit. But if okay. you do succeed in tuning to it, it is fucking insane, but... Um, there's a risk. Very, very high <laughs> DC. That's, that's a risk. Oh. <clears throat> so it's not a curse, just don't attune to it, right? Yeah. As much as it... Pains, like, it's not cursed yeah. if that's simply, like, it is what it was made to do. Mm -hmm. Just no, don't attune to it, right? Uh, no, the thing is, like, if you're using it unattuned, it, it's just a very fancy club, really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the the funny thing would be to convince someone to attune to it and watch them die. Okay. No, because if they're successful, we just give it some of the fucking ridiculous items. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 but also hey, like... Try to attune to this! I am the Avatar of Asmodee! Like, oh, oh no. God. Yeah, but they're also your best friend at that point, because you've given them unlimited power. No, I think yeah, something Asmodee you know, just has a little bit... Yeah, before you know it, they've sucked your dry, grown two sizes. Too big. <laughs> Beaten everyone to death of it. Yeah. Okay. Uh... I... Mm. Uh, Actually, but this is a very powerful I... relic and definitely not meant to be found ever. Yes. So, Seems like something we should probably hand off to the... Uh... Oh, I'm... Oh, I mean, I hate... Photos. I mean, I hate giving them anything, I'll be honest. Because, you know, they don't have exactly the tightest security going on. I fucking picked it up. It's mine. Fuck you. I'll decide what to do with it. I was just saying. Things I don't, don't think stay it... hidden forever. <laughs> I mean, short of having someone dispel it. All right, okay, I... okay. I, I'm just gonna Meep. out of character for a second and just say, mm -hmm. this is not a conversation we can have without Sogo here. Yeah, no, because he sure. will fight yeah. tooth. <laughs> And fucking and nail, nail to yeah. stop that is, us that is true. from yeah. from disenchanting it, from dispelling it, from Absolutely. destroying it. Yeah, we can we yeah. can so, this conversation for yeah. yeah. For, 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 the loop. Yeah. yeah. We will. He's going to have identified, and he's going to be like, oh. Yeah, but this oh, is the thing. I don't want him to. I don't want him to put it in the bag of holding, like so that Soko can start the argument with, oh, I've got it. Turn his back to us in the corner with his arms crossed, holding the bag of holding, and he's not going to have told anyone what it does because he knows we're going to hate it. I mean, yeah, like too late. DM told no one else. Else. Everyone has told you. So, there. <laughs> no. I mean, if, if he didn't tell us, I feel like that'd be a bigger red flag, and by default, we'd be like, well, then yeah, we're getting rid of it, because you no, I'm just, are being uh, you know, I just feel like I think, Jack out of character, I think the smartest thing to do with it would be to get Kess to put it in one of the pocket dimension vessels. No. Eh, no. Just like, probably keeping it. Brooks, put it in your bag for now. Yeah, yeah, just in your we'll back. Share this conversation it. for when Sol comes back. Oh, I'm gonna turn evil. Oh. You just identified the Can't wait, fucking first. devil. Oh, uh, by the way, Dutch. <coughs> Hello. How yeah. long after being bitten by a werewolf do uh, lycanthropy like symptoms show? Mm -hmm. I haven't shown any symptoms yet. That's it's not what I asked. But it's the answer you're getting. <laughs> oh, you're so a bitch. Got to read a book. Is, the is not, oh my yeah. god. The, the answer is, bitch. You got to fucking read a book. 
Okay, well, when oh, everyone's fuck. here. Oh, fuck, I forgot to mention this, but this whole shenanigans that You're just right happened, up. I need you all to make sanity checks, so everyone make a wisdom saving. Oh, I'm great at these, by the way. Wisdom yes, saving throw? I have yes. wisdom. Yes. Fair JK, <laughs> I found them all the time. I'll roll for... Uh... Guys, it didn't go very well. No? No. no. that I marked down your sanity points again. That's an is eight. I, I've marked down how much I've lost so far. I know you don't know how much you've lost though, because yeah. it's well, not I, always one. <laughs> well, yeah, well, no, he tells us, because I have no, written no. one point of sanity. Yeah, but you don't yeah. know what your baseline was. I know, that's fine. That's different from what Koiba's saying though. Koiba's baseline. saying that we, lost, we, like, we lost like two or three, but no, because we write down the numbers, we just don't know what the total is. I wrote it down you don't know what I'm pretty that. sure that I've not no, passed a single one of these well, words, yeah. last time, like literally last session, I was like, oh, wait, I'll mark down one. Like, and then Dutch was like, no. <laughs> I was like okay. no. No, I'm keeping track, yeah. Yeah, I was like, okay, I won't. Oh, this is I just like know a, I failed is, three. I'll, I'll be like, honest, Dutch is being nice by telling us that we failed. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. this is a, like, hidden mechanic. Yeah, no. Just... Well, I thought we were told to write it down just in case Dutch, like... Just because I fucking lose my notes, notes yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, where that's why he's telling us. But, we have a well, no, I've just, I've just wrote down how many Plus, I just like to spread the many... panic of, like, oh, yeah, you lost. You... Yeah, he <laughs> likes to fuel our paranoia. Oh, do I Luckily. need to make one for last session? I or No, it's Joe, it's just me. No. I, I, oh, okay, okay. I had some uh, I'll just roll for Kess things. and Jax real quick. Oh, that's I only great. rolled a nine. That's not good. Only a nine. Oh no! What's, How what's, awful. Sorry. What's the modifier? Wisdom. Your wisdom save. Okay. Wisdom okay. Okay. Natural one. For oh, oh no, no, no! 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 You lose all your sanity in one shot. No. I'm pretty I mean, sure I don't have much left. Yeah, Brooks is already on the edge. Brooks has already been couple. seeing visions of his like family Brooks. being hung and shit. Here Brooks. you go. Mm-hmm. You. Oh no. You, <gasps> hit oh, you hit zero sanity. <gasps> your eyes roll into the back of your head and you fall backwards in the house. What? Paralyzed. And we'll have our moments after I've checked everyone else's score. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. I can. Cool, 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 cool. Did, that, did you say Davian? No, I, I, rolled nine okay. to I rolled nine total. And I have had one previous failure. So no, I'm writing it down. Um, you're still, you're still okay. Oh, Lazarus. Twenty-three. You are more than fine. Davian. Seventeen. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm assuming I fail, so I should mark that I've now okay. failed twice. <laughs> Single digits. What did you roll, um, Aranya? Eight. What's your wisdom on a modifier again? Reroll. For saving throws, yeah. plus, well, actually, period, it's plus zero. <laughs> okay. That also impacts how many points you lose. <laughs> um, oh, no. So you rolled a what again? Sorry. Eight. You are okay. Um, okay. Do you need my modifier since I failed? Like no, because I have yours oh, all written no. down. I just forgot. Oh, to, you have mine. I forgot to write cool. around this down. Cool. I would like everybody to deafen for a moment. Yes. <gasps> <laughs> oh Brooks no! Is gonna Bye guys. Die. Wait, sorry, I can't find the button. Hold on. Bye. Pray for me. So. Hi, Dad. Hey. Brooks. Yeah. You lay down. You are laid flat on your back. Mm-hmm. And you look around you. Get up. Mm-hmm. And ev everything around you has changed. You're no longer in the house, in the traveling uh, fucking Babali Saga house in Rome. Yeah. You are on your own in... a warm, uncomfortable metal chamber. Okay. And you hear in the background just tink, tink, tink. Very recognizable sounds to you. Smithing noises. And you don't feel 
in control of your body. You are just being pulled towards the noise. As you put your hand on the, the wall where the sound is coming from behind, the wall disappears. And you see your father back to turn towards you, just smithing, like hammering a sword on an anvil. And as you put your hand on, uh, on, on, on his back, he turns to you. But to your shock and your horror, you don't see the face you expect to see. And see that he's looking at you with two empty eye sockets, a mouth completely sewn shut skin molten off his face and he just collapses and crumbles you then hear a voice behind you Bruxley what's what's happening and you turn and you see your brother laying in a bed and you again just get jerked towards him and you can see that he is looking sicker than he's ever looked his entire body pale his skin like there's no nothing it's just skin on bone you can see that he looks at you with his yellowed eyes i thought he would save me sorry and he tries to like reach up for you and as his arm goes up to reach you, you just hear this like bone cracking sound. And he just, right before he reaches you, the arm lowers and he just looks at you, lifeless. You then hear another voice. A voice you, you don't recognize, like it's not too familiar to you. What did you do with? And as you turn around, you see a completely battered and caved in face. Front of the skull, completely caved in of the man that Brooks beat to death. That caused him to run away to begin with. We could have talked about it. Didn't have to do it. And he just topples. We then, again, your attention gets shifted to another side of the room. And you see Kes. The night that you and Kes went to the theater. And you were both happy, having a good time, having fun. But you see her face kind of contorting, twisting. It's almost like you lose control. And as Kes approaches you to go in for a hug, you're, you, all you feel is rage, anger, and you lose control. And you <coughs> snap her neck and drop her to the floor. Then, <laughs> I'm just reading chat and it's, it's okay. <laughs> um, you turn around again and see the rest of the group horrified what they just saw seeing you kill one of your own one of the members of this group and they all begin to attack you fight you and you lose complete control and you kill each and every one of them one by one till there's no one left davian you take his head and just Planted on your knee again and again and again until there's nothing left but just a pile of mush held together by a broken skull. Elazarin, you've put your hand in his mouth and just tore his head off and nothing on his neck remains besides his lower jaw. Daigon. You see Daigon again in inner spirit form. And eventually, as you just keep beating her and beating her and beating her and beating her, eventually, you see her spirit form dissipate. And a small wisp of a soul floats up to the sky, out of your sight. 
you see Jax. And you plant both of your daggers, one in each eye socket. And just keep pushing, twisting, turning, until eventually he goes limp. You see Aranya. A newfound ally, but a part of your group as it currently stands. And she's horrified with what they're seeing. And they try their best to just keep firing arrows at you, keep stopping you. But eventually you just walk up to up to them, pick her up by the neck, and just break it in one move and drop her to the floor. All of this, you have now lost everyone. Everyone that you care for or cared for or have some semblance of tie to dead. You are there alone. And you drop to your knees. And you see in front of you a shape, a figure that approaches you. He leans down, that light hits his face, and you recognize it to be Strahd. And he puts his hand on your neck and looks down into your eyes. I did say I would show you and your friends what happens to heroes. And he breaks your neck. You eventually awaken again, around, surrounded by your friends, broken free from this vision. Something in you changed. Something in you was lost. Your stoic, don't give a fuck attitude, replaced by a broken man. Fear has entered your body and is there to stay. Your confidence is gone. You are for the first time, unable to hide any form of feelings behind this, this macho behavior that you've been portraying, you are terrified, sad, and it is taking a toll on you. It is very easy for your friends to see. While you remain in Barovia, you have disadvantage on all of your attack rolls. As well, as any attack Strahd potentially makes at you, will be a critical hit. Oh, oh, I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. Briar has not seen. Briar. Briar. There we go. Alrighty. I couldn't find the button. <laughs> nice. So you see, Brooks. Brooks was out for for a good 10, 15 minutes. Minutes, I mean, and we just sat there. What? No, no, no. That 10, 15 minutes is, allows him. Freaking the fuck yeah, out! Like that's fair. <laughs> Brooks, <laughs> but whatever you would have, would have done, nothing would have helped. Yeah. Like he, he was yeah, no. out. Yeah, yeah. Like, and yeah. you could only but see if, like the white. I, I would have. I've done number one was check is he breathing. I've done the fucking like yeah, yeah. first day like okay, okay, sure. we'll see. Okay. Clear the air wise. Even though we know as players it won't do anything, we might have like I don't know expended yeah, okay, some spells. Yeah, yeah. Might have done fair. things. Like, so okay, so the 10, 15 minutes that Brooks was out cold. What what would you have done? I, I I personally wouldn't have done anything, but what anyone else might have tried uh, things. I, I would have been panicking. I panicking. know it wouldn't have helped, but tried a lesser restoration. <laughs> so there, yeah, you would have used that spell slot. Yep. Yeah. Cool. That's like number supposed to go on. And then uh, if that didn't work, I would have just checked to make sure, that, like doing, like, I guess, a medicine check almost, just to make sure everything's fucking like he's not like bleeding out somewhere or anything like that. I've just been checking him over to make sure like what I would the fuck have is given you on. advantage on that if you actually yeah. wanted to do it, but yeah, it, it would have been just just that, making sure he's not dying. He's alive. Cool. But That's he seems cool. to just be in a sort of trance that he is unable to be shaken from until he wakes up by himself. 
Uh, and what you see is a man, a shell of his former self. Oh no. Visibly terrified. Sad. What, what do you do when you wake up, Bruce? I'm going to, one by one, pull out every weapon I have and just throw them across the room, away from me. Oh, back, get out of the fucking way. Okay, alright, <laughs> alright. But, like, not even, like, a, an angry against the wall, like, just to scatter them across the floor. And I, I'm, try, I'm gonna try and make eye contact with Brooks. Is he, like, looking away from my gaze at all, or...? Like, avoiding eye contact, or is he just like, few, he like, looks stay into your eyes, just, just like, but it's not like he will not hold your gaze, he's glancing around the room constantly. In a Lazarus, in your head, because I'm still in yep. your body right now, you just would hear me tell you that I would try and like go in to see if I could get a grip, but I've I can't t be in him for 24 hours now because I was in during Can the fight. I... I help. Obviously, quite obviously, something quite wrong with Brooks here. Um, can I gauge? <laughs> Um, obviously I've got quite high passive in insight. Am I able to gauge just like a oh. vibe check? Yeah, kind of, it's the like you've said like yeah he looks scared and all that, but like uh, it's not hard for I you see... to discern that all that Deeper. you see in his eyes, the moments yeah. that you do lock eye contact, is just an overwhelming sense of fear and sadness. Brooks, are you okay? Oh. I will step towards him, sort of hands out, and see how he reacts to me getting close to him. While that's happening, I I'm assuming up. she would let me, um, but because uh, Kessie, I would ask Kess to take me into my the where my body is, and just so I can get my belongings. I'm not getting my body out, but and then we come back out, and Kess would be holding the meerkat that Brooks gave me, the meerkat plushie. And I would um, then use my mage hand ability from consuming enchantment and try and not get close to him, but mage hand the plushie over for him to both like as a thing to physically hold, but also maybe a happier memory or like a positive <coughs> trigger if he sees it. We'll see. As he steps back, I won't move forward anymore. I'll sort of step back and go, okay. We're all friends here, Brooks. Everything okay? What happened? Stay the fuck away from me. Do you okay. need a drink? I... I don't know. Okay. I'll just well, nudge the meerkat a little closer with the meerkat. I mean, it's not like pushing it like Turk it, but like... Just it's, and just put it like a few inches closer, but still not invading his is personal. Is Dagon like, like directly in front of me, or is it like this like I'm, side? I'm, I'm, in, I'm in line of eyesight with it, but I'm making sure, especially when you told Lazarus to get away, I'm just staying like back. But I, I'm not in a Lazarus anymore because I had to get out to talk to Kess and get the thing, so I'm out in the world. I would offer you a drink, but I think you have. All of it, so. Do you need some alone time, Brooks, or do you just need to be here with you? I... Where's the door in relation to me at the moment, Dutch? It's not a very large... And how high up does it go? Like, it doesn't go up super high, does it? No. It do be more. It do be walking, though. It do be walking. It do be walking. It, oh, yeah, the house is moving at this moment? Three roots under it, just kind of like... How fast is the... mm -hmm. I think it? I think it moves what, legs. like the same speed that That's we do, like, yeah. like thirty feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it just moves as as normal. Brooks is going to like edge along the room okay. to the point where he's like not out the door, but like right next to the door. Oh. And it's just gonna slump down back against the wall so that everyone is in front of him and like the doorway is mm -hmm. next to him. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you just just so we're on the same page you do know 
where you are and like yes. who we are. Yes. And... Just we're in. Yes, you know we're. In... Yeah. I no. I want to again where Brooks can it. see me in sign language because I taught him this sign. What do you need? The fuck knows. To not be here. I will. Oh, fuck. If Ke if Bell was here, I would ask. Well, I'll suggest to Brooks and suggest to Kess, and we might. This could be. We maybe have to do this later. But, um, if she can take you, you don't want to be here. Guy Kess took me to a really nice beach that was really relaxing, and there's no one there but us. And it might be a nice feel some warmth on your face, see some sun, not be here. But that's... That's and not here, but it's still here. I know. <clears throat> What's with the, uh... The weapon? I, I, I just keep them over there. And why is that? Sharp and scary. Because every single thing I do with them is bad, and I do not want them right now. That's fine. You can. You don't have to touch them. Okay. They can stay there. I will. So. Sort of take a half step towards Brooks, but then bend down to be on his level. Still a distance away. Brooks, if in the morning we'll sleep on this. If you still want to go, I can send you away, but it's not accurate. I don't know where you end end up, but there'd be no coming back. And that is the last resort. I usher Onu over to Brooks. <gasps> it is, it, it is, dog. like, close. Well, yeah. Therapy dog, Uno, or, or Uno. Uno. Oh, Uno! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dutch question. Yeah. Was Onu included in the past, like... Uh, oh. No, he was not. Okay. Interesting, but... I'm... Um... Brooks doesn't shy away from Onu, but every time, like, if Onu's within, like, a couple of feet, every time Onu moves, Brooks flinches. Oh, I mean, Onu's gonna move to Brooks, do a couple circles, lie down. Yeah, like, like, every time he moves, Brooks flinches, visibly. Oh, he's not moving now. He's He is lay down. And just sort of, like, he's laid there and Brooks doesn't move him, but, like, Brooks doesn't touch him either. He's probably just like... Yeah. Okay. Uh... If you need anything, Brooks, let us know, but... We'll stay here in the room, but we will... uh will leave you to it if you just need a bit of space. I'll just put the, the meerkat plushie with, with Onu. <laughs> like, that helps me sleep at night, and maybe it'll help, too. It's, it's real soft. When I did sleep. I will um, sit crisscross applesauce <laughs> six feet in front of Brooks and I will pull out three books and I will just open up the history of Keldar and I will just start reading aloud the history of Keldar so maybe try and just transport him away to uh, the place we called home not so long ago. Oh, that's cute. Brooks just... It's very boring. <laughs> Brooks just sits there zoned out, but like, it's not like a... It's not a... I'm sat listening intently and imagining it. It is like... I am in my own head and absorbing nothing. <clears throat> And it's just irritating to fuck. 
You know that stare that people have where they look like they haven't slept for weeks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's just that, like, hollow, sunken look. Me every day at work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the vibe. Full thousand yard stare plus extra, yeah. you know. <laughs> In the years following the calamity, several fleets washed ashore at the. <laughs> And you get to like get to like two. Aranya is actually like, enjoying listening to this because they haven't heard shit they about, heard about this their original. True, you don't know anything about it in who knows how long. Because you get into like two chapters in, and I saw towards. I'm like, I swear to God. Davian mentions like like years and dates, and Aranya just goes away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's the yeah. history. Aranya is like, you know, just casual nine hundred something. <laughs> years old <laughs> yeah but then like not at the same time because time right <laughs> at some point while we're resting like damage, effectively I might try 30, and, but yeah i might try and just get in brooks's eyeline and sign some of the more like lewd and inappropriate things i taught him just to see if it gets any reaction <laughs> doubt it does <laughs> just like a blank stare just the like, throne of even even the stare it's like Looking at you, but through glancing, you. looking at you, like there's this. Brooks is sat with the door next to him and continuously looks like to and from the group in the door. The like, yeah, debating fleeing in a moment's notice, assessing the room mm. vibe. Not a, like not an assessing look. Like it's not a calculating look. Is it? Is a it's kind of like a time, cornered, wounded animal. Every time someone moves, Brooks glances and yeah. looks at what each movement is. And yeah, it wasn't until eighteen years into the rain. Until <laughs> <laughs> um. Until then. <laughs> uh, as we sort of get like closer. I guess we'll, we'll, should we can try and like find a place to uh, stop to rest. We don't have to yeah, stop. Yeah, because yeah, you don't have to well, stop because I can. Well, it's only two hours away. We're only a couple hours hour away. Oh, we, we need to rest. Right, right, right. We need yeah, to rest. Yeah. So I'd rather not be like we're at the Castle K entrance. <laughs> now let's stop. So, it's like yeah, yeah, we should yeah. be a little bit out. <laughs> After a couple like hours, halfway of, point, of, I'm of sure. Winding yeah. through now, the forest and craggy mountain peaks, the road takes a sudden turn east. And the startling presence of Castle Ravenloft towers before you. Still quite a little bit of um, The house comes to a dead stop between uh, before twin towers of stone, broken from years of exposure. Beyond these guard towers is the precipice of a 50-foot wide fog-filled chasm that appears that disappears into unknown depths. Lower drawbridge of old short of wooden beams stretches across the chasm, not wide enough for the hut to fit. Well, I think this is so as far as the here. huts can go, so we rest and here and leave out here for now, I suppose. Better than nothing. Yeah. And I will ritual cast Lehman's tiny hut. A hut within a hut. Um, <laughs> just as a. I will make it so Brooks can enter, but I won't put it so Brooks is in it because it's only like a ten foot like circle. So. Do I see a Lazarin casting this? Yeah, I'm just. Do you've, I know? You've, you've do seen I me know when he's casting it. Do I know what he's casting? Do I recognize you've, it? Like, you've you've seen me do it a lot. Like every time we've rested, you've seen me do it, and you know I've said we're going for a rest, and you start seeing me pulling out like the incense, and it depends if Brooks has paid attention to sigils on the floor, you know, yeah. or like yeah. when I've been doing markings. That's more. I mean, Brooks that, that's up to Mr. DM. Like, I'll say to you, you've yeah. seen it enough to know that. Like you know what the main the main component is like, is a small crystal bead. I know I like have my holy symbol, but like you see me like sort of rubbing like a little bead. Yeah, I'll say like, that you recognize. I am going to get out my journal. I'm going to write something on a piece of paper. I'm going to tear that piece of paper out. I'm going to give it to Onu. Right. You got reached. I'm just gonna lean down and go. Please give this to a Lazarin. Just very quietly, while everyone else is distracted. I mean, yeah, I don't know, we'll just kind of carry over a slightly slobbery piece of parchment. <laughs> I'll, I'll be like in the middle of doing something, I'll be like, 
it's the I call my only what do you what who knew? <laughs> Hang on, you're supposed to be with Brooks. <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll read. I'll take up the parchment and I'll. I'll I assume. Read it. I assume Elazarin knows Brooks's handwriting. Yeah, I would. I mean, I would have probably put two two together as well because I'll look over yeah, and see. But like you there. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Do I want everyone to know this? Oh, then fucking DM me, man. Just DM it. Just DM, DM. If you don't, DM. DM it to me and and. Like... I will. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. I will send it to both of you. You can put and... it in the group chat with spoiler tags and trust us not to look at it. No. <laughs> that, no. Uh, I don't send me a DM you. copy, but I'll send Dutch DM copy. like someone you definitely right. can't trust not to look at it. Well, just I was like, for saving time and sending multiple That's fine. messages. But... It's not sending. It's only Control V, Control C for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's actually the other way around, Koiba. So. It You're right. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna send this to both of you, and like Brooks is for the first time. Dead holding a Lazarin's like stare. Oh god. That's not creepy at all. That's not that's that's anything that's a little bit weirder. <laughs> and he's just staring and watching to see what you do. I will You sort of see a in pocket the note straight away, like put it into his I like it look like I'm doing something with incense, and then you sort of hear, and I can swear I'm just broken. Oh shit! I fucked it up. Shit! And I have to start again, and I will restart the ritual, mm -hmm. and I will make it so that what has been said to me um, happens. And I'll make I'll make changes to the spell. He he pulls his he pulls his thong up, and so his whale tail is showing, yeah. and then like, yeah. while, <laughs> he's, while he's ritual casting. Yeah. The question though, the yeah, 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 yeah. So look at. The, <laughs> Be like this. Does he, does he pocket the piece of paper? <laughs> it goes into my bag. He tucks it into his. I will then, bag. as I, um, I will finish ritual casting the spell, and then I, you see me sort of go near like a fire, like because well, I'll make so as soon as a fireplace in here, right? Yeah. I'll make it so that the dome encapsulates that fireplace, and I will start a fire, and I'll put the piece of paper into the fire. Between getting the note yeah. and putting it in the fire, yeah. there's like, there's no, other than the occasional glance outside, there is no break in eye contact. Yeah, like, I, I keep on doing, like, look over my shoulder, like. And he's just there. Okay, and I'll, I'll look at him and give him a nod, and then I'll just go back to mine. I just can't stop picturing a Lazarus slutty spell casting. Right? <laughs> stop it. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'll just. We should probably have watches and the like. So. Well, I'm don't... I'm not sleeping, so I'll be. Uh, but we don't want just you, I suppose. Uh, you might want company. True. I'm they? just saying that the I'll I'll be here. So yeah. if you want someone to watch with me, by all I'm, I will I'll take it. But then I will go up to. Dying, I'll whisper into her ear and I'll just say, keep... I know it's gonna be hard to, but do keep an eye on Brooks as well at the same time. Uh, just uh, I try and do the the most subtlest of nods, my head imperceptible if possible. Um, yeah, I will ask, can you maybe about you know, halfway through the night or so, maybe a little bit later? Wake you, Sick. yes, please. Okay. I'll take a you know, like a mid watch or mid, mid to end. I'm assuming Kess will also, since she only needs to rest for half of it too, will want to be yeah. up at some point because uh, she only sleeps for four hours, or trances question. or whatever. Mm -hmm. do, this, you get to choose what the dome looks like, right? I do indeed. And what does it look like at the moment from the outside? It will, from the outside, it will be like uh, brown. Basically, it will just look like a uh, almost dirt mound or like part of like same sort of color as the wall. Like, are, so I can't it looks, see looks into like. It. No, nope, you can't see into okay. it anyways. Even if you can go through it, you can't see into it. If you're outside the dome, you cannot see no, into it. No, but you could choose to make it, like, see-through or whatever, right? Oh, I can. I don't. I always make it, like... That, I'm fucking... not, like, complaining. I'm okay. just asking. No, I always make it opaque, and it's, like, the same colour as, like, the wood that is around. If the wood is similarly all one colour, if not, it would just be a dark brown, I guess. That would be... That would be it looks like Patrick's house. Yeah, <laughs> li literally just... <laughs> <laughs> Um, are we westing? Mm-hmm. Seems like it, yeah. Uh, you guys 
would you be inclined to finish a little early, give him yeah. a too short with this West? Mm -hmm. I yeah, especially because I feel like both uh, Bell and Soko will also have mm -hmm. reactions to yeah, Brooks' yeah. situation. So, uh, so. We'll, we'll end it here. Uh, what Brooks, do you mean? Or, I'm fine. Ethan, I'll leave it up to you whether you can decide whether Brooks sleeps tonight or not. If Brooks can physically stop himself from sleeping, he won't sleep. Okay. Then like just mark down a point of exhaustion. Here. Cool. Yeah. And Are we'll, we taking uh, the which also long means rest? that this only counts as a short rest for me, right? Yes, sir. I guess so. Yeah. Cool. Um. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll end it there for the night. We'll pick this back up next Sunday, hopefully with the gang all here. Rose. Uh, we'll see. Um. Thanks for watching, Did we everybody. kill the big bitch, though? It's good to be back. Mm -hmm. This was a, this was yes. a tense, big fight, and then also very What's intense the aftermath of said fight. Um, but it's good to be back. Uh, it's fine. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll be doing Baldur's Gate, I'm assuming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. oh, I'm yeah, in London. Yeah. Right, you said. I'm in London. Yeah, thank, thank God for oh, that. Oh, we going we were going we to reschedule, right? We were going to reschedule day. this week to, yes, to okay. a different day, yeah. but I forgot. If Koiba uh, hadn't taken my last spot, then we could play tomorrow. True. Oh, so we'll, uh, we'll let you know when Baldur's If we is. didn't invite Koiba, we could play tomorrow. Uh, we'll, we'll talk. We'll, we'll talk. <laughs> kick about, me out then. Uh, Fucking kick me out. Give it, Lauren. You know what? Did we ever <laughs> That's the on a date, or did we be like, yeah, we'll talk about it, and then we never did? I think we, we said like, we'll talk about we'll Koiba. About it. Yo, um, Tuesday. I can't do Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, Duke said I definitely can't do Wednesday. Can't do Wednesday. Yeah, Thursday? Discord. I can't do nah, I mean I can't do Thursday because I'm doing another D D related thing this Thursday. Friday? I can't do Friday either. <laughs> I guess we just skip a week. Hey guys, well, I we're was back. Say, Koiba's played like a lot. So I guess yeah. He yeah, but I, I sort of made plans because we weren't. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I want to skip week Fuck it, doesn't matter. But um, it's good to be back with with. Uh, Is it? The DS Is it for you? We'll be back <laughs> uh, on Sunday for uh, what should be a very interesting session. Right. The gang all here. I don't know yet. I hate so, uh, you I so much. I think we might be no bell. Probably. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I fear. But you know. I believe we probably will. Be Would no we bell. win a Nobel Prize? Shut up. Ha, ha, ha. Shut up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Shut fuck up. Take care. Have a good one. Hope you're oh, weak. Hopefully, we haven't traumatized well. anyone else. And, uh, <laughs> hopefully, we have. No. Thanks for the warm welcomes back, and we'll see you guys Sunday for another dungeon select. Oh, I can't. I can't Woo. do this because noise suppression. Cool. Peace out. Mm. Bye. 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 Bye.